<clears throat> Hello. Hi. Audi. Hit hit uh uh hello. This is now a Dutch uh, exclusive stream, by the way. I a hype train is close. A hype train is close. I've been here for five minutes, seven minutes. I'm so sorry. I'm actually a liar. I'm a disgusting, filthy little liar. Um, hello, yeah. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Anna. Hi, Cyber. Hello, anybody else? Um, I don't know why I'm like constantly. Oh, it's because I'm looking over that direction. Hi. I hope you're all doing good. I'm excited to be back. <sighs> it's been a while. It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? I hope you all had a decent enough, uh, what are they called? Month? Month? I hope you've had a decent enough month without me. Um, I know it must have been hard, but I'm happy to be back. If I look weird, it's because I'm drinking water. Because I'm dehydrated, because I haven't had any water at all today, but I'm drinking it. I'm drinking it. <sighs> how is everybody doing? Please tell me, how were you? How was your July? How is your August going? How are your faces doing? Wow. Did you look that up, or do you just speak Dutch? Because that would be pretty cool. Man. I'm streaming. I'm like, I'm live. Did I not? Did my Discord notifications work? <gasps> Why is Dinobot? What's wrong with you, Dinobot? Why are you not doing the thing? I hate you, Dinobot. I'm sorry. That's not true. That's that's just a lie. Where is this? Where is this? Come on, come on, Twitch. Uh, st what? No, it should work. Oh my goodness. Wait, why is it set to the wrong channel? What? What? Wait. Today has been good. Back in time from work to watch April stream. Hell yeah. Welcome back. How was work? How was work? What is this? Why am I... Why is it already scuffed? Why is it already scuffed, everybody? Je ne parle pas Nerlanda? Nalande? Okay. I don't know what that means. Ugh. Doing good, had a good summer. Uh, been making a ton of writing progress during my vacation. Hey, that's awesome. Me too. Uh, I'm now contemplating an outline to pack more naughty. Oh, good lord. I don't speak Dutch, I looked it up. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Work was good, scan boxes and put them in bigger boxes? Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm on mobile, but are closed captions on? No, they're not. And they never will be. I'm just kidding, that's not true. I'm turning them on right now. How did those work? There we go. I can't remember anything, by the way. I couldn't before. Why? I swear to God, my stream stuff worked. Stream alerts. Streamer. It's April flowers. <laughs> no, don't st don't start saying that. <laughs> Add. I've hit the limit. What do you mean I've hit the limit? Okay, I'm just starting this over. Hold on. Add. It's April flowers. Okay. Do I just have to- I'm just gonna make my own. I'm just gonna- 
I'm gonna, um, I'm, I, I'm gonna die. No, um, I'm going to just do my own stream announcement. Uh, at everyone. Whoops. <laughs> I almost just only typed at everyone and then just added, like, just, oh man. Okay, at everyone. Uh, woohoo! Why am I? I'm alive, baby. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Um, I'm back from break! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Um, I'm under the Elden Ring category? Oh, I changed that earlier. Did I, did it not? That's weird. Huh, I could have sworn I went through that early. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Did the, uh, Dinobot did it, Dino did it, woohoo! I don't gotta do anything. It was so far as it put its pronouns in its username. Yes, that was not intentional, but I probably should have seen it coming. Uh, what else do I need to do? I need to tweet. Did I tweet that I'm going live? I already did that. I don't gotta do anything, actually. I I just closed the I closed the wrong thing. I closed the captions. I'm so sorry. I think it worked. I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna assume that it did, and uh, we're, I'm just gonna work off of the assumption that it did, because uh, my brain is entirely empty right now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna talk about Belgium for a little bit. Did you all know that castles are real? So that's a fun fact. Um, I saw a giant sword, which I was very happy to see. Um, what else did I do? I mean, I got to see my girlfriend, so that's, you know, kind of a big thing. Is it hard to live my dreams? <laughs> just, um, well, just do what I did. Just, uh, just start streaming. Um, and eventually a beautiful person from Belgium will ask you out over a Discord call um, in like ooh, like six months after you start? Uh, no, it was way more than six months after I started streaming. Uh, I've been streaming over a year. Something like that. Uh, eight or nine months, maybe ten, um, if you're unlucky. Um, but yeah, it's not hard. You just gotta, you just gotta do that. Place of castles and swords. That's how we get girlfriends. It is. It is. Um, there are swords and castles. My girlfriend also has a castle. A sword. My girlfriend has a sword, not a castle. <laughs> My girlfriend does not own a castle. <laughs> oh God. Um, she she has she has two swords even. Uh, well, a sword and a dagger, um, but they're very cool. I got to, I got to, I got to play with them. Um, we ran into the streets and scared a bunch of children by uh, hitting them in the face with swords, sharpened swords specifically. Um, hashtag just goblin things. Also, for legal purposes, I did not do that, and if I did, I did it in Belgium. So. You can't do anything unless you're the Belgian government. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, I think my brain turned off. I'm a, I, I'm, I'm kind of losing it. Uh, oh, you know what I gotta say. Belgians have their sauce game on point. I, I gotta I gotta give them that. They have good sauces. Good ass sauces. They got curry ketchup. I had something called Andalus. 
and a loose sauce. That was pretty cool. Um, name every sauce in Belgium? No. Um, just in general, no. What, where am I getting at it from? Ellie! Ellie! <laughs> Your Discord name is Discord Kitten. <laughs> oh, they all oh, Rick. Oh, thank you. Thank you all for the subs. Um hmm. Thank you for the thank you for the shout out on your Discord, Ellie. I appreciate it. I love you. Lost in the sauce literally. Hi hi Rick. Yes, literally lost in the sauces. The, them Belgian sauces. At it's April Flowers. Who are you? I'm your dad. I'm sorry, you had to find out this way. But I am your father. Um. Yeah. Hello, daughter. It's good to meet you finally after all these years. How are you? How have you been? How's Georgia? Um, it's cool. There's been a lot of tensions with uh, Armenia and Azerbaijan. Um, and, you know, uh, Black Sea trade isn't what it used to be, but uh, it's going well. How was your first week back? Oh, I have been crying for about a week straight. And my five kids, they're doing... They're doing so many things that I couldn't even tell you. They're, they're in the Illuminati. Uh, one of them is a dark web assassin. Um, uh, the other one is going to Hogwarts. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um... And we can't we can't talk about the other two legally. Um, oh good lord, I'm wow. I'm sorry, Ellie. Hope you can go back sooner than later. Frog of the day. I think that's actually the same frog of the day. I think I never changed the frog of the day. That I had a whole month to change frog of the day, and I didn't change frog of the day. I'm just ending stream right now, I think, actually. It does, okay, I mean. All right, that's still rough. It's still rough, you know? Uh, I don't know. I, I I don't know, actually. Um, let's see, you know what? We're gonna go, we're gonna. Ooh. Ah, oh, there's so many good frogs that I could add. Priority my butt. That scared me. That scared me so bad. We're going with a special frog for, for, for frog of the day today. <laughs> um, mm, I miss this priority. <laughs> it's been a while. It's it's been almost a whole month or something since. Uh, since, since you've heard Raiden say priority my butt um that was Sonic that was Sonic the Hedgehog that was not Raiden that wasn't even close to Raiden P priority my quills P priority my quilly hedgehog dick uh pissed on my wife yeah Hello, everybody say hi to Rick. Known moderator, accused moderator. Um, accused of being a moderator. Ellie, when did you get emotes? They're so cute. Uh, it was so sleepy. <laughs> What? 
fucking time zones. I haven't been able to watch any of my stream stream friends for like a month, except for Haven. Um. Bleh. I don't know what that was. Don't just ignore that. Everyone's playing RuneScape, and by everybody, I mean Chris and Rick are playing RuneScape at least, and there possibly might be others. Is Freya playing RuneScape? I think she was talking about it. They are adorbs and made them, yes, and did make them. Uh, as a moderator, I was about to ask you to shout out Anne when you when you said that. So, um. But now that you've suggested the idea, I'm gonna say no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> give give her a shout out. Yeah, she's a cool artist um, and and a funny person. Um. Um. Yeah. What the fuck, April? Why you dipped on us? Because I'm gay. And I had to go, I had to go on a long, on a long gay journey to become even more gay, is um, really what happened. I'm actually becoming gayer every single day. It's, it's like Dragon Ball Z powers. In like a year, I'm going to be like universal tier gay. Um, so watch out for that. That's going to be rough for everybody else. Freya said she asked you to join and you said no. Yeah, I don't like RuneScape. Um, I consider it a bad game. As in, it's a game that I don't like. I want to kiss a girl. What's it like? I don't remember. Um, how do I describe this? The whole... Imagine kissing a boy, but it's a it's it's not a boy in, instead. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It is. I highly recommend. Taking a trip down memory lane. Uh, April, April, join the Europeans and see real castles. I, I saw so many real castles. And it was fucking wild. Um, so, like, one of the castles had, like, a super rich person living in it. So that was, that was wild. Um, at one point I saw a castle, or I was near a castle, that, uh, was turned into a spa. So, there was this, like, ancient fucking building and and it was now like a fucking retirement home or something something like that i don't know um so that kind of blew my mind my brain sort of melted after that um i saw uh i'm gonna butcher the pronunciation uh robinson in uh hint and that was pretty that was that was that was amazing that's where the big sword was was in robinson um and uh, uh, they were actually two big swords, uh, and it was wild. Um, how was the whole month in Lothric? <laughs> oh, Lothric! Lothric is so cool. The high wall of Lothric. Ooh, uh, bleh, 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 bleh. What, what, what's the Dark Souls 3 intro? I don't even know. I was gonna quote the... Yes, indeed. There we go. Is that Dark Souls 3 or is that only in Dark Souls 1? No, it's in Dark Souls 3. They're the same game anyways. Imagine just being lost in the stars when you open your eyes and see a cutie in front of you that's kissing a girl. Damn! All right, you know what? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Honestly, that's how I would describe it. Uh, or I like that description of it. Should I play this game? Should I? Should I? Should I? Mm. Mm. Ah. Oh, so 
sorry, should I play this game? Should I, should I do that? Should I, a video game streamer, play a video game today? Or should I just sit here and, uh... You know what I should do is I should reset the, um... The, the goals up there. This music is like putting me to sleep. Why didn't you get Eileen to try a Souls game? Um, because I was busy kissing them. I had more important things to do. Uh, and also, uh, well, I don't know. I don't want to, like, talk about personal stuff, but, you know, uh... Streaming, uh, has been a sort of stressful idea for them lately. Uh, so I didn't want to, like, push them to do that. Uh, just, you know, just because. Um... Reset session? Did it reset? It didn't reset. Um... You know, it was a fun idea, but uh, it just didn't manifest. And then, like, we were thinking about maybe streaming, but when the day came, I was like, I, I don't want to do this. I'm like, I'm on vacation. I'm on vacation, you know? Um, why, why is this reset? No, no, no. Do not reset the follower goal. Just reset the fucking sub goal. Jesus. Well, how many were there today? There were three. I love you all so much. There we go. Um. Are my are my overlays gonna update? Hello. All right. Well, it'll change at some point. That's so weird that it's not changing. Whatever. Um, oh wait, what if I did this? Boop, boop. There we go, I fixed it. I fixed it, everybody. Climate change is over. I did it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this game. Hope we can see them back. Yeah, probably soon-ish. Um, they've been working on some really fucking awesome stuff. Um, that's all I want to say. Uh, very, very talented person. Uh, how dare you enjoy your vacation? Yeah, I know. I feel bad for it. Um, there we go. We're playing the we're playing the the romance game. Uh content greater than vacation. Crocodile eats content. Do you guys remember that? Did your like teachers do that? Where they were like, oh, you know, to explain greater than or or uh less than and stuff, they were like, Oh, they imagine there's a crocodile in it like hang 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 like Eats the eats the big one. Are there nude scenes? I don't know. And I'm assuming I'm hoping that there's a setting. Like turn off adult content or something. Uh enjoy your lurk, by the way, Rick. Oh the huntress. Look at her. Yeah, okay, big guy. Oh, the spirit. He's kind of cute. Um, oh no, there isn't. Link account? What is this? Oh shit, you can get a cool, you can get a cool little skin in uh, the, the one game. I hate that this game exists. I hate that you uh, don't exist, Ellie. You now don't exist. 
behavior account. I'll sign in with Twitch, I guess. It's April Flowers. I'm a female. My birthday is on one of those days in the year. Country. The United States. Minor outlying islands. That is not where I live. Woohoo! I did it. Okay. Um. Okay, I've now linked my account. Why do you why do you hate that this game exists so, Ellie? I'm curious. Huntress has so many muscles. I know, right? Oh. Oh god. <laughs> Before we get started, what should we call you? They're all so hot, I hate it. Ah, yeah. That's fair. That's that's fair. This is def this feels like a bi panic like trap. <laughs> you wake up on the beach, soaking wet, salt water stinging the inside of your throat as if you'd nearly drowned. Water falls from your mouth as you open it to gasp for air. <gasps> Witch! Hi! My new VTuber. Thank you. Thank you. I'm hoping, I really want like a PSX style one. You know, like a, this is kind of just, this is like a, a easy free one. But like, I really want to get like a retro style VTuber moder mo 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 model. I think that would be really fun. And yes, I'm back. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. It's good to see everybody. We're just playing the Dead by Daylight game. This this is actually Dead by Daylight. Um, specifically Dead by Daylight. Not a spinoff or anything. This is just Dead by Daylight. Um, let's see here. Should I like... I feel like I should maybe be smaller, you know, just so not the whole game is covered up. Um, how is it so far? I, I, this is the, this is the second line. Um, <laughs> but it's nice. It seems very pretty. Never make yourself smaller. You know what I meant. I love you, Ellie. Um, <clears throat> water falls from you. Um, fr 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 God help me. Water falls from your mouth as you open it to gasp for air. You have no memory of how you got here. In fact, you can only remember your own name, but not where you came from or a single fact about your life. What you do know is that despite the outrageous beauty of the landscape around you, you feel incredibly sick to your stomach. <laughs> wow, really went down the wrong pipe, huh? You need a minute or can I go on? Because I can give you a minute. <laughs> We've got plenty of time. Endless time, really. An eternity if you catch my drift. The ocean is talking. Whoa, not now, ocean. Sorry, scrumbly. May I continue? Please go on. <gasps> okay then, as I was... <laughs> <laughs> as I was saying... You look down at your feet, ankle deep in the crystal blue water of a newly arrived wave. As the water recedes back into the ocean, it reveals a grotesque discovery. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! A decomposing face stares at you from <laughs> stares up at you from beneath the sand. All you can do is vomit. A stream of dark, vile bugs, worms, and other ick. Ew! Why did I have bugs and worms inside of me? No, you know what? I'm a goblin. That makes sense. That checks out. 
questions race through your mind. Where are you? How did you get here? Who is behind this incredibly charming and well-spoken voice in your head? However, answers don't come easy. Your mind is completely blank. What will you do? Oh my god, it's like drums. I don't even know if you can even hear that on the other end, but I'm, I'm having fun playing the drums with these chat options. <laughs> Run? Uh, why? I wonder if there's like, is there like integration? That would be fun, but I, I'm pressing this button and nothing is happening. Um, let's see, run, close your eyes, dig up that face. I want to dig up the face. Hey, what's up? What's up, little guy? You brush the sand away from the half-buried human head and edit in the ground before you. Oh, cool. Bleh. Bleh. Uh, there is no body, just this head. As you pick it up, flakes of skin fall to the ground. The jaw falls open, revealing a gold coin sitting on the rotting tongue of this poor dead soul. <clears throat> Getting your hands dirty, I see. I like that. You're a take charge type. I'm guessing that's what the ocean sounds like. I don't know. I guess the ocean likes me? I don't like the ocean, so... You examine the gold coin briefly, happily distracted from what has otherwise been an extremely confusing morning. The sun beats down on you, drying your clothes. You check your pockets, but they're empty. Plenty of room for a gold coin, you suppose, and so you deposit it. Why, that's a nice coin you've got there. What if you were to spend it right now? Sorry, I like the drums. Um, um why? No, I want to keep my money. It's my money. No thanks. Look, I'm going to level with you here. That coin you found? It's mine. I dropped it yesterday and I've been looking all over for it. Dropped it into a dead person's mouth. Could you just give it back? No, I want my coin. No. Be that way, then. Your mind doesn't have the chance to linger any longer on your current situation as you feel something soft bump into your foot. Oh, hey, a tennis ball. A, a, a volleyball. I didn't say anything before that. When you look down, you find a volleyball sitting in the sand there next to you. I did leave the ocean on red. Fuck the ocean. You stare down, frozen. A voice calls out from behind you. Oh, what should the what should the the huntress's voice be? Um Oh god, I don't think I can do a voice that sexy. Hmm. Me sees the basketball. Also me. Oh, it's a baseball. <laughs> I love water. Um, Huntress. Huntress voice. I mean, she's like Russian, right? Little help, please. That doesn't work. That does not work. That doesn't work. Hmm. <clears throat> Little help, please. No, okay. No, that's not it either. Um. No, Ellie. How dare you? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Thank you for the clip, Ellie. 
<sighs> embarrassed in public. Um, am I getting too hung up on what the Huntress should sound like? I think I am. Um, a little help, please? A little, a little, a little help, please? <laughs> A little help, please. No. No. Uh, we're just gonna go with, um. Yeah, a little help, please. That's it. There we go. We're doing that. You turn around, and when you see what's waiting for you, your jaw just about hits the ground. All right, everybody, drum roll, please. <laughs> Oh, hi. Why did they make them all sexy? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm not meant to handle this. Four gorgeous monsters. Stand halfway between you and a well sounded volleyball court. Each of them oozes with undead energy, that's my type, a magical aura reaching out and penetrating you <laughs> via your eyes. <laughs> I love this. Um, it's a quadruple threat. Oh, yeah. Your heart begins to race. Curiosity, fear, desire. You can't help but stare at these casually dressed. Let's call them killers. I don't know, not to be judgmental, but that's the energy they put out there. <laughs> so many competing feelings rush through your mind at once that you are completely paralyzed. They did make Anna so pretty. And 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 what's his name? Wraith? Wraith is so pretty. He's, he's so big. And I, it kind of disturbs me that they're just sitting there blinking at me actually that's kind of weird what's he doing like this little anime pose i i love him i love him so much what is this on on the trapper oh you can't see my mouse i'm gonna change that because it annoys me that it doesn't capture capture cursor there we go what is this hmm because it looks like it's an extension of his abs. Or <laughs> that's his entire dick. <laughs> there is no in between there. It literally the same line goes down from whatever this is to his abs. So like that. Damn. All right. Um. Oh, Anna. Look at her. Other Anna. Not our chat Anna. I mean, you're very gorgeous too, chat Anna. But Huntress. Good lord. I am completely paralyzed. Oh, what should the Trapper's voice be? I didn't even think of any of the other ones. Uh. Hello? I'm Arthur Morgan. There are weird days, and then there's this. All you can do is look down at the ball and back up at this monstrous lineup of, well, literal monsters. Sexy ass monsters, though. <laughs> what do you do? Say nothing and do nothing. I think that's what I would do in real life. Say no thanks, kick it back, toss it back. Ooh. Wraith's name is Philip. Trapper's name is... Evan, and then Spirit's name is V. Cool. Um, <laughs> they're so pretty. These, it's just a drawing. It's just a drawing. They're just drawings. I'm gonna kick the ball back. <sighs> touch grass. Touch grass. Touch grass. You swing your foot and awkwardly strike the yellow ball. Sending it bouncing across the sand towards Huntress. 
it doesn't make it all the way. Everyone stares at you, silently <laughs> observing your unsportsmanlike shame. <laughs> no, it's too real. They must be wondering, have you ever seen a volleyball before? That's surely what I'm wondering right now. It's not a soccer ball. Well, it might be a tennis ball, so shut the fuck up. What a dark. No! You feel so awkward that you can barely see straight, but through the haze of your embarrassment, you catch Wraith looking at you from the corner of your eye. Huntress jogs the rest of the way to grab the volleyball, and they all turn and head back to the court. Alone again, you look across the, the beach at all these strange residents who casually bat a volleyball back and forth. <laughs> Happily ignoring your intrusion onto their private beach, did they not notice the corpse? Like, the dismembered head in front of me? Should you be frightened, worried, excited? I did refer to them as killers, not to give too much away. <laughs> but at the same time, damn, they are looking very appealing in their own way, and nobody so much as lifted a blood-soaked finger in your direction. What was the ocean's voice? The ocean will be Snake. Don't be scared, Scrubbly. You were made for this. Well, geez, if the spooky ocean voice says not to be scared, I'm sure it's all going to work out. Uh, with no good reason not to, you decide to head over and see what happens next. Lurk for a bit, love you. Love you too, well, enjoy the lurk. It seems like you've derailed the volleyball game just by showing up. You derailed the game just by showing up, knew <laughs> it. <laughs> Why does he have blood on his hands? What have you done? And I guess you're also a nitwit. <laughs> Look, it's best to just go with what Trapper says when he says it. That's a policy I hold for pretty much anyone who always seems to have fresh blood on their hands. <laughs> uh, hey, don't worry about it. It's all just a game. Existence, that is. Was, but, 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 what, what was, what was, what was I doing for Huntress? Uh, besides, you see him a lot more interesting than a silly game. Oh, I love her. What's your deal? What brings you here? You mean they're here to do more than distract from my total domination? Deep sigh, less sigh. <gasps> That's a deep sigh, I think. That was Wraith. The sigh means he was done with the game, too. Either that or he saw a butterfly or something. <laughs> Look, I don't care why this slack-jawed moron is here. Wow. Okay. I just want to know, can I kill them or not? I can't do that. I, can't, I was trying to go for like a New York accent and I've completely fucking lost it. You know you can't. At least not yet. Ah! Oh yeah, not yet. Hey, Scrumbly, you might want to, you know, say something. Actually, never mind. There will be plenty of time for that soon enough. Right now, this group has some questions for you. But be warned. Answer quickly and answer well. <gasps> this is a timed quiz. Oh, God. Okay. Or not important in any way, whatever. Probably that one. I can't remember. How attractive would you say you are? I would say very. I'd say I'm very attractive. That's what you think very attractive is? Compared to this? Trap reflexes and his muscles are so tight you can practically see the blood running through his veins. Uh, Wraith's voice. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Uh, uh, flight. Uh, flight for sure. Technically, I suppose I can fly. Honestly, it's not at all that it's cracked up to be. As far as I go, I'm still not where I want to be. What was your best subject in school history? 
bounce a quarter off those muscles and comes back with change. Wow, what a saying. I love that so much. History? Uh, nice. It's important to know what came before so that we are not all doomed to repeat humanity's mistakes. I mean, we will anyways, but still. What's your favorite animal? Uh, cat. Um, definitely a cat. What? <laughs> what? Why is everyone looking at me? You think just because I'm the typical cute goth girl I have some specific love of all things cats? And more specifically, black cats? Um, Eileen? Uh, well I do, but you can all go to hell anyways. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Blood red. Some call it the color of, Some call it the color of love, but love is just another <laughs> word for pain. What's your dream job? Uh not <laughs> Oh astronaut. Actually astronaut. It'd be pretty amazing to be an astronaut. It's hard to imagine being farther away from anyone than floating in space. The cold, inky vastness of nothing. Forever. Best flavor of ice cream? Horse? Vanilla, I'm sorry. I'm answering honestly. My favorite flavor is pain. Same. Same here. Mine is vanilla. Swirled with pain. <laughs> Hey, I like the voice. I was thinking mint chip. Mint chip is good. Mint chip is really good. I love mint chip. I was talking with Eileen about this a little bit earlier. Mint chip ice cream? Pretty fucking based. I love it. I think mint chip is the greatest flavor ever conceived myself, but enough about ice cream. Am I right? <laughs> this reminds me. I am right. Always. It's a lesson you should learn before we go too much further. Do what I say if you want to survive. Pick a mint chip. <laughs> We're teaching lessons now, narrator. You rascal. Kill or be killed is the rule on this island, even for faceless voices. Tell me, what's the best flavor of ice cream? Mint chip. The best flavor is mint chip. So obedient. No, I just agree. How dare. How dare. <laughs> I have to face the spirit kills me lovingly. Ah. Who would I have to pay for Huntress to kill me unlovingly? Also, hi, Dawn. Anywho, now that they know so much about you, I'm sure the group wants you to start getting to know them. I'm Trapper. I pretty much run things around here. I'm the smartest, richest, strongest person on this whole island. I don't like losers. If you, if you want to know what a loser is, say hello to Ray. Hi, I'm Wraith. I'm nothing like everyone else. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. Look at him. He's such a cutie. I like nice people and low the big dumb idiots. Hey, what's up? I'm Spirit. I don't like those things. <laughs> That's like a Game Grumps voice. I'm not doing that. I don't really hate most things either. It's not really worth my time, but the things I do hate, I really hate, you know? <laughs> Based on my personal observations, life is nothing but suffering, and society is a carefully calculated lie to keep everyone subservient to those in power. It's better to just choose not to take part. I, I love her. I love her so much. Wow. I... I love her. Jeez, it's like she was downright murdered by society. She hates it so much. Oh, no, wait. I'm remembering Spirit's story now, and that's almost exactly what happened. Uh, hey, I'm Huntress. Don't let those bummers get you down. There's a lot of fun to be had on this island, along with lots of love. Hello. Yeah, there is, if you know what I mean. Grow up. Grow a body? Damn. I've explained this a thousand times. I'm dead, but I'm not a literal ghost. I just create a trail of fog. I'm not made of it. Oh, shit. Why did they skip? It's like skip two things. That's not nice. He's not nice. You love it. Only sometimes. Are they together? How dare they? How dare Trapper steal Huntress from me? Ew, really? That's disgusting. That's why she likes it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, this is amazing. Don't speak for me. I also hate it. Stop speaking entirely, actually. <laughs> for the first time ever, I agree with Wraith. Let's move on, otherwise they'll do this all day. Besides, if I know this crew, and I do, they'll want to show off soon enough. Why does this game exist? <laughs> oh my god. How are you doing, Dawn? I'm so sorry, I forgot to ask you. Have you have you made sure that you, you've eaten? You've eat? Um, you've, you've consumed food and water and potentially your meds, if you have them? Um, you gotta do that? If we're done playing, let's do something else instead. Wow, for once, I actually agree with the meathead. I say we go to my yacht. <laughs> Why does the trapper have a yacht? <laughs> it's the massive boat docked nearby. I'll give everyone a taste of true luxury and power. Wraith rolls his eyes. Don't mind him. He just hates fun and happiness. No, I hate the endless, desperate, soul-crushing pursuit of wealth. The way it's flauntless needlessly, and the cruelty it endangers. Wow, okay, that's pretty based. What about hanging out by the pool? I find the water calming, simple, beautiful. Hey, what about our volleyball game? We can exercise and have some fun as a group. Are you all serious? There's a perfectly good lounge to chill out at right there, here. I'm tired, and besides, I hate being in the sun. Where do you want to go? Is it, This is the yacht, I'm assuming. This is the lounge. This is the volleyball game, and this is whatever Wraith said. Hmm. Where do I want to go? I kind of want to go to the lounge. Or play volleyball. Hmm. I'm gonna play volleyball. I hate that I interrupted your game. You should finish it. Yay, I love to play outdoors. I also love to meet new people. I also love to bring them home to play. I'm sort of a big kid at heart. Obviously, you are too. I like you already. I hate people who are too serious. They ruin everything. What? Mmm, this is so pretty. <sighs> They do if you don't handle them swiftly. Claudette? <laughs> oh god, it's them. It's, Cla <laughs> it's Claudette and Dwight. <laughs> I love this. Well done. <laughs> for, for just one moment. This is Dwight and Claudette, our activities coordinators. Oh my god, this is so good. This is so good. They're also the cooks, waiters, bartenders, janitors, and every other job. Why are they both so cute? This looks... This looks frighteningly like one of my friends. Dwight looks frighteningly like somebody I know. Wow. That... Hmm. They're the only help remaining on the island. This place we call Murderer's Island. Dun dun. Cue dramatic musical flourish. None of the others survived. Ahem, <clears throat> survived the interview process, I mean. Hence why we shall therefore refer to them as survivors with a capital S. <sighs> why am I so yawny? I used to have worked here a long time. So very long. I don't actually know how long it's been. Sorry, anyway, I should probably let Dwight and Claudette do their mandated jobs. They sure look happy, but they're vibrating with a nervous energy that is starting to give me the creeps. His shorts? Dwight, hello? I might actually go make some tea. Um, just to get some caffeine in my body. I will be right back. It'll be very short. BRB everybody.
Hello, I'm back, and yeah, Claudette's biddies are uh, quite pointed. Very, very pointy. Yanni, Ronnie. Oh, I wish I was Ronnie. That'd be so cool to be a doll made out of ropes and the soul of a demigod. Um, wearing a giant wish hat. I would love to be that. Um, anyway, I should probably let... Uh, oh, that's right, the nervous energy. Same. 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 We will now escort the group to the venue of your choosing. However, in the future, we recommend waiting for us to... Oh. <clears throat> However, in the future, we recommend waiting for you to present us with your options whenever possible, and don't just run up to various activities unsupervised. Thank you, Claudette. We don't have much autonomy around here. The least you can do is allow us to do our job. <laughs> it's so bad. It's such a bad fucking shitty French accent. And isn't she, like, from Quebec anyways? It's the same. Um, the most you could do is help us get off this island. Dwight. Yes, pardon me. Please, follow us. Hey, narrator. Yeah, something I can help you with? Those two, Claudette and Dwight. Did they just start to mention something about wanting to escape? Is escape an option? Should I be trying to escape? Escape them? Oh, no, no, no. I think you're mistaken. It, it seemed like Dwight was asking for help to get off this island. Though. Oh, right. Yeah, that's true. He was, but he just meant that he wants to get to the other vacation island getaway a couple miles south of here. It has much fancier accommodations than this island. It's one of those big corporate outfits, quite exclusive, where all the famous celebrities hang out. Very luxurious. Doesn't quite have the charm that this island has, though. Trust me, you wouldn't want to go there. With all that money comes a lot of restrictions. Also, welcome back from your lurk, Ellie. This is where you belong. Now, now, off you go. It's time for an activity. On this island, your decisions matter, mostly, when I agree with them. Not like that other island. <laughs> so what'll it be? Oh, what? I, I choose again? Well, I chose volleyball earlier, so I'm going to go play volleyball. Let's go play volleyball. Wow, it's so exciting to have someone else into athletics on the island. Oh no, I may have misrepresented myself. Spirit and Wraith are so boring and Trapper is so predictable, relying on brute strength to win games. He has no respect at all for grace and skill. Thank goodness you didn't choose the yacht. What kind of a person would want to be a sitting duck in the middle of the open ocean? You're just asking for a sneak attack from an elk. <laughs> Wondered how long it would take for her to bring up an elk attack. Game starting up again. Make sure you're watching close. She's really something. Elk don't swim. Live in the forest long enough and you'll see an elk swim. Believe you me cheer for me cute stuff okay the killers resume their place on the volleyball court and resume the match they were playing before you arrived hey fancy lemonade i see you working up a thirst eyeing those balancing buns playing volleyball okay claudette chill dog jeez Claudette hands you your lemonade. Ooh, so fresh. So tart. She leans in and whispers in your ear. Who would you bet on to win? Hmm. Who's the MVP of your little heart? You're nervous. You don't want any of these killers to hear you talking about them or not talking about them if they're into that sort of thing. Just pick someone, please. It's not like we've got all day, night, week, month, year, lifetime, eternity, or anything. Who put sand in that guy's shorts? Jeez. Okay, I think, um, I mean Huntress. It's Huntress. It's Huntress. It's Huntress. It's Huntress. Look at her. Look at her. Come on. Oh, shoot. Huntress overheard you. Ah! You've got your eye on me. Good lord. Look at those thighs. Look at everything. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm flattered that you think I'm good, but honestly, I'm a little annoyed that I've been so flashy with my moves. Usually, I'm so sneaky that you can barely see me at all. Huntress is totally kicking my butt. Correct answer. I'm allowed to support the other people on this island, right? Oh, jeez. I have no idea what the rules are here. Are there even rules? 
I am. Um, I should have stayed in my secret Larry. My secret <laughs> Larry. Wow, what a game. It's a tie. Can there even be a tie in volleyball? No one knows, since this is everyone's first time playing. These killers don't usually have time for team sports and miss their busy schedule of brutally tearing survivors to shreds. Hey, is Claudette crying? Are you okay, Claudette? Probably just shedding a tear for her lost fellow survivors. You know, this resort had four employees when it opened. It's nothing. I'm totally fine. Whatever you say, boss. Oh, look, the killers have dispersed and are all cooling down in their own way. Spirit is reading a novel. Trapper is stretching centrally in between chainsaw girls. <laughs> Wraith is standing on the beach, desperately hoping the sand will swallow him up. And Huntress is doing some target practice with her bloodied hatchet. You feel a nudge. Dwight is looking at you expectantly. You should really make a move. Life is short. You could get snuffed out at any time of the day. Carpe diem. Carpe PM, Carpe Nowum, go ahead, chat one of them up. So which killer has caught your eye? Didn't I just say Huntress? You head over to Huntress. After all, this horse, this, oh, bleh, this whole, whole sporty thing. Might as well see how she's doing. I gotta head to bed. Glad I could catch you in this stunning game. Yeah, good night, Anna. Good night. I'm so happy to be back. And I'm happy that it, I'm glad I got to see you. And thank you for the sub. And thank you for everything. And can we get a shout out for Anna, please? Um, I'm sorry I haven't been able to see your streams. I've been like avoiding stray spoilers. And also, I just haven't been around for the Tuesday writing streams. Playing Prey. Wait, wait, oh, the arcane game? Ooh, wait, oh, damn it, you're leaving. Uh, <laughs> I really want to play that game. I haven't gotten to play it yet, but I do have it. You were really great out there. Where'd you learn to move like that? Whose moves? My moves? These moves? They're nothing. Also, yeah, Mommy Hunters, uh, definitely. Just pouring some jasmine tea here. I played Prey for my birthday. Oh my god, that's right. Happy birthday! Huntress blushes a bit from beneath her mask. It's cute on cute, if you ask me. Sometimes you gotta look past some bloodstains. Yes. Yes. You do. I support women's rights and women's wrongs, and that includes looking past bloodstains on them. A lot of- oh, what is she doing there? <laughs> okay. <gasps> a lot of men have run for their lives in my presence. You really learn about a lot about what the human body is capable of in those types of scenarios. <laughs> I love to exercise. In a way, we're all running for our lives when we keep in shape. I guess I've never thought of fitness that way. Maybe it's time to start. She fucking brings the ass up. You never know who's coming for you through the brush as fast as they can, propelled forward by hunger, desperation, or just plain old boredom. Doesn't seem like boredom is going to be your problem. Surrounded by all of these characters. Survival, on the other hand. Maybe I should play some Dead by Daylight. Do I still have... Did I uninstall Dead by Daylight? Oh no, maybe if, if this is like a super short game, I might play some Dead by Daylight afterwards. You're going to need to compensate for your lack of a killer instinct. What's your style? Imagination. What I lack in fitness, I try to make up for in imagination. I like to make up little games for myself to play. My imagination is very vivid. I can imagine the two of us I'm sweating and close to I'm with you. Our hands gripping the sheer face of a close rock wall as we climb. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Right. Gotcha. That's what I was also imagining. I was imagining that too. Up to a cavern entrance. A dark cave, slick with dew, shimmering in moonlight. 
back with you. A pack of wolves awaits us there. Friends, enemies, dinner. We look into each other's eyes and then back at the wolves. And together we all howl. <laughs> oh god, she's a furry. Look at her face. I love her so much. It sure sounds exciting. My blood is pumping just thinking about it. Come on, everyone. The fun and games can't be over already. I get it. I get it. Volleyball? Not ruthless enough. Oh, shit. <laughs> we crave action. We crave excitement. We crave the thrill of the hunt. It's time to see if our friend here has the hunter's instinct. I saw you surveying me like prey on the volleyball court, scrumbly. Huntress waves a bloody axe in the air, and you step back nervously before you realize she's not waving it at you. She's handing it to you. Don't worry, I've got several of these. It's important to hone your... <laughs> I've got several of these. <laughs> I contain multitudes of axes. It's important to hone your skills, especially when you're in a new place where threats may lurk around every corner. You need to make sure that you are the biggest threat of all. Just don't aim those things at me. Hehe, <laughs> you can't even see me. Damn, narrator really just said, hehe. <laughs> For real. Mini Oh shit, it's a mini game. Gotta start heading home? Hey, I probably will be on in an hour. Have a safe journey home. Hey! Hello! How are you? Gobble stream, gobble stream indeed. MGS5, the Phantom Pain. Ah, I should replay that game. Many games consist of two parts. On top, a pointer which rotates in a clockwise direction. And on the bottom, a target you're going to be pointing at. Sometimes the target is immediately visible, sometimes it's hidden until the pointer arrives. What? Okay. Nah, I'm ready. I understood that 100%. Let's go. Perfect! Woohoo! How are you doing, Freya? How's it going? Beautiful. Yes! Oh my god, I'm so good. I'm her. You're her. Oh my god, it's going so fast. It's going so fucking speed. Boom, bitch. Hunter eyes you hungrily with a bite of her lip. MGS5 contains multitudes. Does not contain an ending, though. Sorry, I'm just salty about that. <laughs> Huntress eyes you hungrily with a bite of her lip. Mm. Wouldn't want such a sharp shooter on my bad side, or would I? What does that even mean? Catch it, Throne! Cool, I guess. I like my stabbing to be a bit more up close and personal. Somewhere a loud horn blows and the survivors snap into action. Time's up! You heard him. Get to the next activity. It's super hype about Guilty Gear. Yeah, what's that's been blowing up my Twitter timeline. What's like what's going on with that? Seems like the next activity is meal time? How quaint. You were expecting what? Capture the flag? Do you know how complicated it is to run a game like that? Much more so than sitting and talking. You arrive at- Oh my god, this is Love Island. This is Love Island. Okay. Okay, okay. I would love- I would love to be scolded by anybody. Um, that's not true. Don't- don't take that to heart. Uh, you arrive at the cookout area to find an assortment of picnic tables scattered around. What were you expecting? Some kind of grand hall with a huge banquet table? No, I was expecting this. This ain't some prestigious fantasy epic like you'd find on cable. Dwight and Claudette usher you to your seat, but there's very limited seating directly around you. <sighs> uh, but yeah, what's going on with Guilty Gear? If anybody knows. It seems like it's a good thing. I just don't know anything about the games. Besides that it's a fighting game, I think. And oh great, terrific, it seems that everyone wants to sit next to you. Even better is that they don't want to sit next to certain other people either. To start, no one wants to sit next to Trapper. Meanwhile, he refuses to sit next to Wraith or Trickster. What? Trickster's here? <gasps> oh shit. 
Trickster's here. Surprised? Yeah, well, they don't call him Expectedster. I'm sorry, even I get nervous around crowds of killers and my whole shtick gets a little flustered. Oh, no. Mmm. Oh, well. Ooh. Mm, okay, um... Ah, hey there, you're looking good, Scrumbly. Real good. And we literally can't let Huntress and Trapper sit together. No, seriously, their arms are too big. They can't fit at the table if they sit side by side. <laughs> okay, new character dropped, and it's literally my favorite character that I wanted to be added. Cute yo-yo trans girl bounty hunter? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and just guilt. Guilty Gear Strive. Why is it not on? Oh, it's because I have it blocked. Because anime. I have the term anime blocked on Steam. I'm just going to go ahead and add that to my wish list. Um, real quick after that. Oh, hi, Yarn! That sounds amazing, though. That's super... That's, that's, that's very poggers. How are you doing, Yarn? And yes, this is very sexy purple. Lots of purple going along here. Look at this, we can't even fit everyone on screen at the same time. You'd probably think it was an error, but it's not. It's, it was completely intentional. Let that be a lesson to you. Every error you think you see is a choice. Got that? Is that something about- is that supposed to be like something about Dead by Daylight? I'm sending you a pic- I've seen- I've seen a bunch of videos of her. Um, she's like the blonde girl in the bomber jacket sort of thing, right? Here, let me- Okay, Dwight and Claudette are directing traffic. You sit on one side. The rest of them will sit opposite to you. Huntress and Trapper can't sit at the ends with their enormous sexy arms. Now that everyone is seated, we can begin dinner. Tonight's meal was prepared slowly and carefully with both love and hate for 12 hours over a spit. We hope you all enjoy. We really, really hope you do. Hey, you didn't actually tell us what you're serving. What are we eating? It's meat. Seasoned with a specific number of special herbs and spices that we simply can't divulge. My f my favorite. The, did that guy have strawberry jam on his hands? Uh, no, it's probably the blood of the innocents on his hands. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She's so cute, Freya. Wow. I want to be her. Or I want her outfit, at least. She's got a giant handcuff around her. Interesting. I thought that yo-yo was, ha was a hamburger. I'm not going to lie. Maybe I'm hungry. Meat is good. Meat is murder. All wraith. Which you'd know, considering what you've been up to. Who are you? Who are you to get? Which you'd know, considering what you've been up to. Who are you to get judgy now? I'm just, I'm just sharing facts. And you need to murder something to eat its meat. So that's like technically true. Technically true is the best kind of true. Okay, enough yapping. Let's eat. Hey, Scrumbly, you thinking what I'm thinking? It's going to be a person on that spit, right? Or several parts of overlapping people, perhaps. I haven't seen many pigs wearing palm tree button-down prints, you know? When you look closely at the spit, you spot what definitely appears to be scraps of fabric sandwiched between some layers of meat. I think I might be sick. Is there anything else to eat? This took 12 hours, and we do literally everything on this island. Actually, there's one thing you're not doing today. You're not carving up this delectable meal. Wow, he's right for a change, because I am, because I am with my broad axe. It's the perfect tool for easily chopping anything in twain. Did she just say twain? Yeah, <laughs> first, who says twain? Sometimes I swear it's like we're all from completely different historical eras. <laughs> Second, I'll handle this with my cleaver. Fast, powerful, and clean. At least it's clean when the meat is cooked. No blood. Ah, oh, you two and your ridiculous bicep swinging con tong tong con 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 contests. Enough. Grow up. Obviously, my gorgeous katana is the only option. Obs. The hell it is. Oh, I'll sh oh my god. What? <laughs> I love her. 
I'll show you both my katana and send you to actual hell if you'd like. Please stop. Please. I hate when we fight or talk or when we look at each other in the eye. He just like me, for real. I can do it. I have the skull of Azarov. Great, instead of slicing it up, you can club it to a second death. Hey, Scrumbly, I know this isn't what you want to eat, but hurry up and volunteer to carve up Felix! It's Felix for dinner! Oh my god! Otherwise, this will go on for hours. They once argued over who had the most effective weapon for 72 straight hours. That sounds like the Dead by Daylight community. Ah, uh, sorry, chat. Strawberries are very innocent. True, he could have the blood of strawberries on his hands then. She's a bounty hunter. That's her bounty hunting handcuff. Oh, does she like take the handcuff off and like hit people with it, and or like you know like cut like like you know grab people with it? That's so cool. R.I.P. Felix, indeed. No. Okay. Well, that's mildly disappointing. Despite being a bunch of cold-blooded killers, for some reason they're always terrified of tetanus. <laughs> hey, why don't you just let me carve up dinner? She hits people with her yo-yo. Yeah, but like, I don't know, maybe she has like a like ultimate move or something where she like grabs the handcuff and like cuffs you and then like super yo-yos you. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know anything. Splendid idea. We'd hate for it to get cold. He hated it when it got cold. He hated it when it got cold. <laughs> Here's a machete, freshly sharpened. Minigame consists... Oh, okay, at the bottom. Right, right. No, no, no. I got this. I got this. Let's go. Perfect. Hell yeah, I'm so good at this. I'm so good at carving up Felix Richter. This is actually how you should be cutting your meats, or you just take your fucking machete and you just swing it at light fucking speed across the grill. And then just... Oh no. Oh, she's so pretty. Everyone in this game is so pretty. That would be cool, but she's more than cool enough. That's true. She would be too cool if they added that, actually. April is good at video games. You said that, and I immediately whiffed it, so... Dinner is finally served, for real. The sounds, especially coming from the masked killers while they eat, which involves lifting their masks and shoving food up behind them, are nasty. Spirit, meanwhile, doesn't even eat. She's the only one who seems to be really be embracing being dead. They're all dead, right? This is obviously hell. I mean, come on. We're still trying to be mysterious here. You think mystery comes easy? Claudette and Dwight aren't the only ones who've been working their asses off to make this night perfect. <clears throat> well, at least they're lifting their masks. This is only 99% as disgusting as it could be if they just tried to mash stuff through there. Hmm. I love tea. I'm having some jasmine tea. What's everybody's favorite kind of tea? Important. Spirit, why aren't you hungry? The two best things about being dead is not having to eat. That's only one thing. Think about it, Scrumbly. Number two is no number two. One less thing to think about in the afterlife. Mm. Felix tea. Ooh, that would be pretty good. Uh, we all know it was an intentional whiff. <laughs> I missed it on purpose. You're so... Oh, Yarn, you called my bluff. <laughs> Ellie, can we get a shout-out for Yarn and Freya, please? Wraith does not shit, confirmed. Wraith is the... Or, sorry, not Wraith. Spirit. Spirit is actually the only girl on this island because she does not fart. Or pee or poo. Even if I wanted to eat, I have no idea what would actually follow. You might have noticed, but I'm mostly just a bunch of dismembered body parts floating in a spectral form. Do you see how deep this cut on my abdomen is? I think I don't think my digestive tract connects anymore. 
between the food and the behavior of the group, this might be the worst meal in history. Oh no, wait, Freya got a shout out, but that's okay. Go follow Freya anyways, because they're great. My bestie. Even worse is that they're staring at you. You're not eating. They don't like that. I think they want an explanation why. What do you want to tell them? <laughs> Look at that seagull. Wow, you ever see a seagull that big? I haven't. That's incredible. Anyways, what were we talking about? Lame misdirect. Yeah, she's right, Scrumbly. Pretty lame. Own who you are. Wait, is your name Scrumbly in this game? I named myself Scrumbly. Because I'm Scrumbly. Never compromise. Didn't you wash up on this island with no memory of who you are and how you got here? Yes, you did, poor thing. You have no idea the last time you ate a real meal and you've been standing in the sun. But the seagull! Uh-oh, he just made a lot of good points, I swear. You're beginning to feel lightheaded. It waved at me. Maybe you need to eat to survive here. Either that or someone poisoned you. No, wait, you haven't eaten, so you can't be poisoned. Hmm, whatever the answer, you're clearly about to pass out. Sent you a video of Bridget coming out as trans? Ooh, I want to see that. We're going to look at that right now. Because I, I don't have an attention span. Do you? Why would you have one? That's kind of fucked up. Give me a second, actually. Did you? I don't... Oh, it's official. Bridget... Okay. Your name is literally GG Bridget Stan. That's amazing. Is scrumbly a real word? I thought Triscuit and I were the only people who said scrumbly. I don't it's not I mean it's not in the dictionary. I just made it up. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my god. Okay. Stop right there. That's enough. I I don't know what to do. I'm Meds not check. like you, Mr. Pie. I'm too scared of losing what I have. Oh, this guy looks cool. Huh? Ain't you a little young for a midlife crisis? What the hell is this? this guy's so huge. I'm happy the way I am. Discretion can be the better part of valor. But think about it. For the sake of your future self. What is that idol animation? For my future self. But what if I make the wrong decision? I am putting That's it on stream. You, kid. Gotta learn to take a hit sometime. Wait, calling me a coward? Hands right in front of I just didn't want to show our DMs. <sighs> Not that there's anything weird in there, but I don't know. I I don't want to run scared anymore. Ava, they already got shout outs, but thank you for doing it again, because they deserve it. No, I'll regret it. So from now on, no matter what, no more lying to myself. Thank you. Both of you. Did I miss it? Don't mention it. Happy trails, cowgirl, or uh, cowboy. Cowgirl is fine, because I'm a girl. Uh. over. G gay <laughs> I didn't really understand that um but that's okay I kind of zoned out in the middle there that's cool though uh you haven't eaten so you can't be poisoned hmm whatever the answer is you're clearly about to pass out <clears throat> speaking of trans people I'm doing the snake voice for the ocean oh hey it's me again your friend, mentor, and guide. Narrator to the narrator. The ocean. Not sure how I feel about that characterization, but I'll allow it. I brought you here, and I might be the only one who can help you now. There's only one thing you must do to survive. You have to figure out why you're really here. No one can tell you. Not unless you follow the right path. Or at least a right path. There's too many of those to count. Hopefully you pick at least one of them. Because there are even more wrong paths. Many of them lead to your demise. Others lead to something even worse. Starting scenes over and having to fast forward back to where you were. Am I right? <laughs> True. For this place holds many secrets. Even for myself. 
but the one that truly matters can only be learned if you answer the most important uh, question. Why are you here? To get domed by a giant muscle lady. What? Why are you here? Answer that and you'll learn the truth. The ultimate truth. God damn it, my boss called me. I missed it. Get owned. Um, Tessa and I have had a very long conversation about whether or not Bridget is trans rep or not. So this is pretty amazing. Oh, cool. I don't, yeah, I don't, I mean, that just, in the video, in that, in that clip, it was kind of just sounded like her just being like, I'm a girl. It was like, sounded kind of trans, but I don't know. She wasn't like, I don't know. Um, vague, mysterious. I got to give it up to this ocean character. There's some quality early game storytelling. Hold on, I'm back. One more piece of advice. <laughs> Hold on, I'm back, said the ocean. <laughs> You've made many choices by now. Some of them I liked, some of them I did not. It's in your best interest to make more choices that I like. Do you think you'll get axe murdered? Definitely, 100%. You wake up to find Huntress holding your limp body, gingerly pouring cool water into your mouth. I, I need? Um. Oh good, you're okay. Sometimes when I try to care for people, they have a way of ending up less alive than when I started. <laughs> I love her so much, which would be a total bummer if that happened to you. It's been so long since I've had a normal, happy, healthy, living person around. I don't know if I would call myself most of those, uh, but, you know, I am a living person. That one, that's true. Usually I'm just falling into the same old routine of smashing everyone's head open with a hatchet before I really get to know who they are as a person. I mean, we've all been there. But you... You're not nearly as scared or too busy writhing in pain to see me for me. <laughs> I love this so fucking much. You feel nervous in her arms, not just because they're maybe crushing you a little bit, but because she's beautiful. Yes, beautiful, but I was just going to narrate that fact, not, you know, say it out loud as a single word like some creep. Beautiful mask, your bunny mask, it's quite gorgeous. Nice recovery. But now that you're awake and talking, you gotta keep this up. Did you make it yourself? You're the first person to ever ask me that. Yes, I did. You seem so quirky. <laughs> Quirked up white girl with a little bit of swag. Uh, busting it down, uh, murder style. You seem so quirky and cool. You could do anything, own an Etsy store, be a doctor. Why is it that you kill people? Huntress sighs. You can practically see the memories. We'll go with that. I'm gonna buy this game for this picture alone, honestly, yeah. That's super valid, Ava. Um... But she hasn't tried to kill you yet, so that's a good sign. It's all I was ever taught to do as a young girl, so I thought it was right. Even through the mask, you can see that Huntress is blushing a bit. It seems like your line of questioning has made her a little nervous. Hey, you didn't eat much at dinner. Want a snack? She offers you some jerky. Probably human jerky, but her spice game is on point because it smells pretty damn good. I mean, I should probably eat. When on Murderer's Island, you might as well eat as the killers do. Plus, you really are hungry, and you can chow down on jerky sensually, right? Yes. That's the noises that you make when you chow down on jerky sensually um, in goblin culture. I'd love some. After a moment of quiet chewing on what you choose to believe is not human thigh meat, you decide to be bold and ask another question. Have you ever been in a relationship before? Dang, you're really going there? You do not play around, Scrumbly. I, um... Hmm. Oh, she got the she got the sweat. Huntress takes a moment to think deeply before answering. I must say, it's quite amusing to see this hulking bombshell get all twisted up with these personal questions. Oh, he pulled up! He pulled up! Thank you for that. 
I must say, it's quite amusing to see this hulking bombshell get all twisted up with these personal questions. Kudos to you, Scrumbly. There was this one deer that- what? That looked at me quite provocatively in a clearing once, but that doesn't count, does it? You hear the faintest giggles bubble out from behind Huntress's mask. Ha ha ha! You're so cute, Huntress. No, it doesn't count. Whoa, what's this? You found something in the sand. Huntress reaches down to pick it up. It's a hair clip. Probably left by some little girl who was playing on the beach long ago who is definitely still alive and not at all dead. <laughs> Huntress closes the bag of jerky with the hair clip. She seems like she's a little mixed up on how exactly this particular item works. Should you go with the flow or show off some of your knowledge of advanced humaning? What does go with the flow mean? I don't know what that means. I feel like I should show her, you know, be like, hey, you know, this is how the hair clip is used. And you like put it into her hair and like get all close to her. I'm going to do that. You silly goose. Okay, so so Scrumbly is white. Um, you chuckle before reaching for the bag of jerky. You take the bear off and collect a lock of Huntress's hair, clipping it back into an attractive swoop. Much better. Oh, okay, so exactly what I thought would happen happened. That's so cool. That's like the first time that's happened on stream. Huntress is so happy that you taught her something new about human trinkets. She touches the clip in her hair with a shy smile. Just as things are really heating up, you hear a flurry of footsteps behind you and you quickly spin around, ready to fend off whatever new danger has popped up on this strange island, only to find that it's Dwight and Claudette sprinting across the beach clipbirds in hand which they're waving in the air above their heads it's very important that we stick to the itinerary and attend each event as scheduled playing sick for cute flirt points was not part of this evening's activities that's strictly slotted in for after campfire story time at this rate we'll be late wow i love angry dwight hey ellie ellie doesn't dwight Dwight very strongly resembles someone that we know, correct? <laughs> I'm right, though. I'm right. <laughs> You can't tell me I'm wrong. Playing sick? No, I was... No time for excuses. Well, there is, but that's scheduled for after what comes after the flirting. Go, go, go. You're very right, and I hate it. I can't not see it now. I can't not, like, see, see Dwight as him. Oh, and he's got the little whatever this is called. This is honestly... He would wear this too. Hmm. I thought that said... I. Once everyone has gathered at the fire pit, Dwight and Claudette quickly make an announcement. I thought that said Dwight and Claudette quickly make out. I was like, what? Huh? <laughs> We're not going to blame anyone in particular, but someone, and we're not going to say who, so don't worry, you, hasn't been sticking to the schedule. That means we're behind on time for evening activities, and we'll only have time for one person to share their special spooky nighttime story. Just one story? But story time is my favorite activity. This is a narrative-heavy experience. You're telling us that only one person gets to share? How will we decide who? Oh great, we have to decide as a group? This never goes well. Whoever did this, step up now. I swear I won't be angry. I'll merely chop your head clean off. No fuss, no fuss. Voice trembling, you realize this is probably it for you, but you embrace your fate. So, sorry everyone, I think they're talking about me. To be honest, I still don't understand how this whole schedule thing works. I guess I lost track of time while I was passed out? 
<laughs> Question mark? Smile? Been there before, even though it's taking some pressure off of me, which is an absolute dream come true. Is it really fair to pick on the newbie? Seriously, has anyone, has anything here ever happened on schedule even once? Damn it, Donald, if you try to, what? Who's Donald? If you try to flex that authority gimmick one more time, so help me, I'll snap your head off so quick and then I'll drown you in his blood. Cynthia, what, who, who are these people? Oh, it's supposed to be Dwight and Claudette. Fuss and Muss are back on. You two know I love to hack, slash, and slash. We all know you love to kill. It's almost all you talk about. Nobody named any names. Who even knows any names? Not us. I renounce my name. Who's Donald? Who's Dwight? Who even knows anymore? Call me nobody, but we're... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fun. <laughs> but we still gotta get started on story time, so scrumbly. Who do you think... Who do you think should go? Ah, damn it. That's a name. Please, pick someone so quickly that this tropical vacation doesn't turn into a bloodbath. Um, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like Wraith should go, because he really seemed into story time. And I feel like he would have some fun, uh, spooky campfire stories. Sorry, that's just satisfying. That's, wow. My brain just got lost in that. I'm gonna go with Wraith. I choose you, Wraith. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This entire experience is being carefully crafted to avoid an IP infringement lawsuit. Let's be careful with the catchphrases, will ya? I'm not really one. You were so excited. He was so excited. Oh. I'm so, that I'm I'm crushed. He was so excited. I gotta skedaddle. No worries, yarn. Thanks for the stream. <laughs> I will enjoy romancing sexy murders. Thank you. It's a favorite pastime of mine. You literally carry around a skull and a spine as your little prop. <laughs> True. As the other killers laugh, Wraith holds up his skull and gazes into its hollow, dark eye sockets. If you're looking for something Shakespearean in this story, look elsewhere. This is a tale of madness, of staring at the soul of death and never returning. Once upon a time, a young man worked at a junkie. The man was quiet, kept to himself, just wanted to avoid trouble. While the boss dealt with clients, the young man operated the crusher, turning old cars into cubes of twisted metal. One day, right before crushing a car, he noticed something. Blood. Drip, drip, dripping from the trunk. He opened it and found a frightened stranger, bound and gagged. The young man reeled. Was he about to accidentally murder this stranger? How could this have happened? He freed the stranger who ran off into the waiting arms of the boss, the owner of the junkyard. Before his shaken employee could tell him about the mistake they had nearly made, the boss took out a knife and swiftly slit the stranger's throat. The young man fell to his knees, unable to comprehend what was happening. As he stared at the ground, too shocked to cry, the boss approached him. What did you do? He asked the boss. I did your job for you. What do you mean? That's not my job. My job is to crush the cars. The boss let out a miserable scoff his face contorting in evil disdain for the pathetic wretch in front of him. Why do you think we're crushing these cars? To save space? Who do you think my clients are? I don't know, he mumbled the young man. Yes, you do, screamed the boss. Deep down, you've always known what was happening here. You just didn't want to admit it to yourself. Your hands aren't clean. My clients gave me money and I take care of their problems. Eliminate their witnesses, tie up their loose ends, or actually you do. No, the young man whimpered as the boss towered above him. Yes, you're nothing more than an executioner, and you've reaped hundreds of souls. The young man's body shook with soft spasms, spa, spa, spasms as he tried to stop crying. 
it was when the boss started laughing that it happened. Something in the young man changed. He stood up, now taller than the boss. A faint glimmer at the boss. She's here? A faint glimmer of fear overtook the snarl on the older man's face. The young man's face was empty. Empty as he grabbed the boss's throat and dragged him to the car in the crusher. Empty as he picked up the boss and stuffed him inside. Empty as he slammed the trunk down on him, its stupid fat head sticking out, begging for mercy. Empty as he started the machine, staring at the boss and its sniveling, crying wet face. Empty as he grabbed the boss's head, dug his fingers in farther, piercing the skin. Empty as he squeezed and pulled. P pulled. Empty as he heard bones popping and snapping. But when the boss's head, still attached to his spine, pulled cleanly out of its disgusting sack of a body, he smiled. Wraith stares back into the eye sockets of his skull. It doesn't matter how good you are, how innocent, how kind, how full of love you once were, when you look into the eyes of the evil, you will surely go mad. An awkward silence falls upon the room. That was a lot. Hi, Chance! Hi, how's it going? Hello, hello. How are you? How's your day been? How's your, how's everything been? Ever. Damn it. My nails are chipping. Until, make a joke. Make a joke. Because Huntress said she doesn't like people who are too serious. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna lean into that. Make a joke. Good as heck. Hell yeah. What are we playing? We're playing the Dead by Daylight dating simulator. Because <laughs> um, yeah. Also, I need to show you something in this game. It's very important. Uh, in a little bit. Hey, you said no Shakespeare. Pretty sure that's from Romeo and Juliet. Trapper laughs at your callback. Wraith looks down at his feet. <gasps> a coin! I like you, Scrumbly. Here, have a gold coin. It's my love language. <laughs> have a gold coin. It's my love language. My love language is specifically giving you giving people gold coins <laughs> all right cool on that note everyone decides it's time to take a break and split up for a little bit so that they can all have a moment alone before bed hi bestie it's your neighbor imagine you guys you should play my stream so loud that uh, ellie doesn't have to watch and can just listen to the audio through the walls um <laughs> and then you should get kicked out <gasps> or have the cops call them um, but yeah, we're playing the Dead by Daylight dating simulator game, trying to, uh, trying to make, trying to make Huntress love me, which is how I play Dead by Daylight anyways. Everyone leaves and you're alone by the fire. The only thing you hear is the ocean slowly lapping against the shore. This is nice. A true moment of peace and tranquility that lasts for all of seven seconds because Trickster show up and he's blaring his latest song oh shit it's like that was like actually his music that's funny hey baby hey baby you're like a lonely mind if i join you <laughs> that's definitely what trickster sounds like right he doesn't wait for an answer i know you've been hearing from these guppies all day but i want you to hear something from a big fish like me something special those in charge on this island don't want you to hear I'm the ultimate catch on this island. The only lobster in an ocean of sardines. No one can give you what I can. You just have to find me. Come find me, baby. <laughs> the art is amazing. The art is amazing. It fucks. Um, Trickster leaves. You're a bit confused about what to make of it. Also, sorry, if you hear like... I don't know if this is even coming through, but if you hear clicking, that's me fidgeting. Um, on my fidget cube. Just FYI. 
You're a bit confused what to make of his cryptic clues, but you aren't going to get any time to yourself to think about them just yet. Wraith approaches you. They're all so hot, it's awful. It is awful. <gasps> goblin sounds dot PNG. <gasps> what goblin sounds? What was I making? Hey, I'm probably not making a great impression because uh, I guess that's not really my thing. I love him so much. In like the kin way, you know, like, oh, uh, he's relatable. Same with spirit. I just know that if you got to know me, then, I mean, look, the others aren't around. And I really hate the fire pit. I just kind of hate fire in general. Maybe we could go back to the pool and like, I don't know, whatever, you know. A dip in the pool with the wraith. You've come a long way in a single day. I'm not saying you shouldn't follow him. An offer like that. Just don't forget our little talk. Hmm. You and your storyteller friends slip into water. It's just the right temperature for an evening dip. Plus, if some jealous shark comes along and manages to jump from the ocean into the pool, you're also pretty sure your killer companion could handle it. Thank you, narrator. The ocean talks to us? I think the ocean is the entity or something. From, from Dead by Daylight lore? I'm not really sure. Um, hey, do you do do you do 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 you remember my story? You mean the one you just told? Like a minute ago? Yeah. Um, yes. Did you I mean like what did you think of um the young man in the story? Oh god. Look at this little fucking twunk sitting here with his tree branch hair stuff. Imagine getting ghosted by Wraith. He just rings his bell and leaves. Damn. I don't think Wraith would ghost you. He's a nice guy. Do you think he's weird? I would forgive him. Uh, I don't know what to say here. Um. No, he's not weird. I would forgive him, but I feel like that's being too serious. He's like, do you think he's like... Like, he's, like, quirky and, like, cute, and you're like, I would forgive him for his sins. It's like, oh, whoa, okay, chill, bro. I'm gonna go with he's not weird, because I don't think he's weird. Oh, what? He didn't have all the knowledge he needed to begin with, but what's important is what you do with the knowledge once you have it. Damn, I just fucking, fucking wrecked this guy. I'm so sorry. That is not what I wanted to... In the end, he's no better than the monster he killed. Wow. Um, did the young man remind you of anyone? Yes and no. I think that's what makes it such a great story. It's unique and surprising, but relatable and familiar. I think we all know someone like that young man. I think we all have a little bit of him inside of us. And I would like to... Nope, I'm not going there. Wraith giggles. <laughs> oh, 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 scrumbly. <laughs> Not in a gross way, but like you're thinking. Like you're thinking, but a very silly one. I'm assuming he's imagining a tiny little version of himself dancing around in his own belly, because that's just who he is. You notice the temperature has dropped significantly. Is it cold in this water now, or is it just me? I feel like my toes are turning into ice cubes. Wraith squeezes up and squeezes his eyes shut. Please, I can't be around any cube talk. Not since um, I heard that story from somebody else a long time ago. The story you just told us two minutes ago. Exactly, the one that wasn't about me. Usually, oh, here we go, here we go. Chance, 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 chance. Does he remind you of anybody in this art style? Does Dwight remind you of anybody in this art style? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I saw him and I was like, 
Wait a fucking minute. I just wanted to, I just needed to share that. Refill in my tea. I should have put some honey in here. Ah, honey and jasmine tea? I don't know if that would even be good. Usually we'd be nervous that we were about to make things awkward when we barge in, but obviously we couldn't hold a candle to whatever was happening here tonight. Either way, it's time- <clears throat> Either way, it's time for bed. For you, but not us. After you go to sleep, that's when we party. After spending all day cooped up in those tight little safari-themed resort uniforms, you just know those two rage late into the night. But you're not here to party with them. You've got your own repressed relationships to tend to. Chill. Chill. Stop. You head over to the campfire. The heat is comforting on this chilly night. Looking into the crackling embers, you think about Wraith's story about the young man who found out he was part of a sinister plot. What don't you know about your current situation? Is it something that will terrify you? Something that will make you snap? What if you look into the eyes of evil, and what if you like it? Before you can dwell too much on your fate, Claudette and Dwight arrive, their now familiar creepy smiles stretching from ear to ear. It's a bit menacing to see a smile like that lit by firelight. We must apologize for the accommodations. We weren't, we weren't prepared for another guest, but we're gonna make you comfortable or die trying. They hand over a pillow and blanket and welcome you to snuggle up by the fire. Perhaps some music will put you at ease. Just try to keep the volume to a minimum. Our other guests aren't the types you'll want to rob of their beauty sleep. Oh god, it's the fucking mini game again? Oh wait, wait, oh god, oh. I suppose if it doesn't stop where you want- uh, I wasn't paying attention to the rules. It, that's a bit like losing, but no one has to know if you don't tell them. Okay, well, it's not like I'm streaming this game to a bunch of people, so, you know. Okay, ready to play, or would you like me to repeat that? I'm ready. Hey! Welcome back, Rick! As you relax and look into the fire, the radio begins to fuzz and flicker. You examine it and decide that you might adjust the dial and fix it. Whoa. Um. 96 is... Let's talk about our community. For us, it means uh, two major things. First of all, the That's fucking Matthew! <laughs> you and everybody else, either playing the game, or talking about the game, or creating content <laughs> related to the game, or being inspired by the game to write music, or to make outfits. It's everybody that's part of what makes <laughs> it's fucking is amazingly rich and passionate and violent. <laughs> it's one, it of, the, means one of the developers of interact on every single possible i like the messages on the screen yeah it's um it's a new thing that eileen showed me it's so cool the people who play by themselves um, i felt like it fit with my anything. retro vibe a little bit more so it's important for us to, to be able to break it down and, and figure out exactly who oh, we gotta keep Matthew on. Community and how do we listen to them? How do we get close enough that we can actually hear Wait. what makes them happy, what makes them excited, what worries? Let's talk about our community. For us, it means uh, two major things. First of all, the community is you out there. It's you and... Pronouns exposed on screen. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> is this chase music? Wait, 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 I want to see if I can identify it. It sounds almost like Demogorgon, but they wouldn't put that in the game. I don't know whose this is. Oh my god, Rick uses pronouns? That's so cringe. Wait, Ellie, your pronouns are right there, too. Which, which, which killer's chase music is this? Dead by Daylight has some fucking banger music. BRB, no worries. Enjoy your licks. Oh, BRB deletes pronouns. Ellie, no. I don't know which killer this is. I don't know if I've heard that one.
This is metal. What the hell? <gasps> hell yeah. He may refer to me by my name, Shadow the Hedgehog. Okay, Shadow. Good to know. This is just lobby music. But it's like metal as hell. Or is this the killer music? I think this is like the killer theme. Oh, sh Hey, stream elements. Thanks for pointing that out. I do have a throne wish list. You could be the first person to buy me something off of my throne wish list. Just put that out there. Have you guys seen the trailer for- No, I never saw the trailer, but apparently it got really bad reviews. Um, I think I looked at the reviews and a lot of them seemed just because it was like gay or like a queer horror movie. Oh, does it look bad? Okay, that makes sense. Honestly, I was kind of scared. You gotta watch Prey. I've been hearing people talk about that. Um, what is it? I want to listen to all this music. Yeah, they slash them. It sucks because it's like such a good. Honestly, they slash them and like a slasher movie set at a at a, uh, a, a conversion camp. Oh, it's the fucking clown music! Get out of here! Get out of here! It's the new. It's a predator movie. Oh, that's so sick. Um. I want to watch it. Yeah, is it on? I, I think I, one of my Twitter mutuals was saying that it was, like, not in theaters. Is this the dregs or whatever? I don't know. Well, gee... I wonder whose music this is. Actually, this could be a lot of people's music. It's on Hulu. Oh, cool. I have Hulu. Ooh, that's sick. Yeah, I know it's about a native protagonist, um, which is very, very cool. I'm assuming this is Oni's music because it sounds more like a killer theme. Or I guess it could be Wraith, but it sounds more like dark and brooding, like Oni. And like, uh, older traditional Japanese instruments. I think. Anyways. Which one was that? I think we haven't listened to a hundred? What the fuck is this? <laughs> this fucks. I would get murdered to this music. This is like some fucking doom music. <laughs> uh, I feel like we did 98, but I'm gonna go back to it for a second. Oh yeah, that's just the killer theme, okay. You decide to ask one of the killers to spend a little more time with you until you're sleepier. Oh. Well, well, well. Uh, I'll check it out, though. Maybe I'll watch it later tonight, because I have been wanting to see it, and I'm it's on a service that I have access to. Um, I want to learn how to do slasher VFX. Slasher VFX? What do you mean? That sounds cool. I just don't really know exactly what that means. Any VFX is dope, though. Who would you like to summon to your side as you lay by the fire, Huntress? Huntress, are you around? I was wondering if I could get a little company. Huntress appears in an instant. You really didn't hear her coming. 
Like blood and murder stuff. Hmm. I love blood and murder stuff. <laughs> I've always felt bad for like, not like felt bad, but I don't know. I just remember hearing, I forget what it was, but like somebody was talking about like, I think it was like in a video game documentary. They were like trying to do like the modeling and like the texturing for like gore and stuff. And it, like, traumatized the VFX workers because they had to look at, like, images of, like, mutilated bodies to, like, make the VFX. And now I just, anytime I see gore, I'm, like, in, like, a video game, I'm, like, oh, that's dope. But, like, in the back of my head, I'm, like, the artist had to look at some fucked up shit to, like, make this work. She's more than happy to tell you her secret for falling asleep when she's feeling restless. Blood tea, wow. Oh no, it's a mushroom tea. When I'm not coating the blade of my hatchet in it to ease the passing of my victims, I <laughs> I'm steeping it in a piping hot mug of water. Try it. You do. You finally start to feel sleepy. Except, maybe this isn't really a sleepy feeling. Maybe you're paralyzed. You try to keep your eyes open, but you can't. Was it Mortal Kombat? I think it might have been Mortal Kombat, yeah. Um, which, fun fact, for my D&D uh, &D character, uh, she's a barbarian, and I wanted her to have some, like, brutal, like, kills, you know, if there's, like, a boss enemy. Um, sorry, it's Mortal Kombat gore made me think of this, but uh, I, like, watched a video of a doctor reacting to a bunch of Mortal Kombat fatalities, and I, like, wrote down some of them, and I was like... If she ever gets the killing blow on a boss, this is what it looks like. <laughs> She's a fucking barbarian. Um, maybe you're paralyzed. Darkness overtakes you. The dark voice from earlier speaks to you again. It shouldn't still be as spooky. By now you've had a whole day of strange voices in your head, but this one's still undeniably odd. <laughs> really worked up a sweat watching those killers toss the ball around, huh? Wouldn't it have hurt so much to go splash around in some cool ocean waves afterwards? I'm just saying. I'm out here, you know. <laughs> I'm out. We out here. Um, you wake suddenly to see someone looming over you. Tra ah! Trapper is sitting beside you, sketching a portrait. Oh, you're awake. I saw you with the Huntress right before bedtime. You should know they're not what they seem. Not like me, who is obviously completely honest and trustworthy. I was out checking to make sure you weren't sleeping near one of my bear traps. Actually, never mind. Why are his eyes like that now? Uh, just be careful where you sit. But since I'm here, I'd like to share two things. One, I do not take rejection well. Two, the first thing is very important to remember. Were you drawing me? Trapper doesn't answer. You aren't drawing stink lines radiating out from me, are you? Still nothing from Trapper. Look, I'm not an easy guy to get along with, but I'm an easy guy to spend time with. That will make sense if you choose to spend time with me tomorrow. The rest of this scum live like rats. They wouldn't know a good time if I if I bit them in the ass. I mean that literally. Point is, if you if you select me, you're in for a day of luxury, extravagance, and fun. Yes, I said fun. <laughs> I daddy trapper. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to say you're wrong. I don't know. I'm into, like, I don't know. He's, he doesn't hit for me. He doesn't hit for me. I can't, I can't place exactly what it is. I think it might be the mask. And if I don't pick you, remember what I said earlier, or it might be the last thing you ever forget. But hey, you look tired. Get some rest. Sleep. Maybe even sleep well if you can. Just try not to roll over to the about 15 feet to your left. <laughs> Finally alone, for real this time, maybe you drift off to sleep again. Hopefully you're not poisoned. Well, that was an interesting first day on the um, Sexy Killer Island. Oh god, wait a second. Where are we? This isn't... 
Oh geez, it's one of those reality show confessional rooms where all the contestants talk directly to the camera. I think today went really well. These were some of my favorite interactions with someone who isn't a parent that didn't end in bloodshed or untimely perishing in my Russian cottage. So I'm counting today as a win, no matter what happens. What do I think of the newcomer? Oh, do I have to say, oh, I do? Okay, hmm. attractive, mysterious. I really don't know that many other words since I was raised by my mom in the woods until she was skewered by an elk and I had to wash her entrails off of my seraphim. <laughs> that being said, the other three should make sure to be on their guard. I don't know who this newcomer will want to spend time with tomorrow, but I for one will not let my guard down easily. Who knows about the others? I need her so bad. Oh, look at those muscles. Wraith, I think, knows more than he's letting on about this place, but he's a hard nut to crack. Meanwhile, Spirit is just screaming all the time. All the time. Major buzzkill and Trapper, oof. Where do I even begin with Trapper? He's buff, sure, but daddy issues much? Sheesh. True. True. Look, I don't need anyone. I've been perfectly fine on my own since my mother died. I need a fine diet of raw deer, bear, and human, and I'm fit as a fiddle. That being said, something about this newcomer makes me think that I might be missing out on some huge part of this thing called life. Look at her, she's so cute. They made her so cute in this fucking game. Ugh. This is weird. I don't care enough to kill this person, but if anyone else wants to, I don't care enough to stop them. Might have to just kill Dwight to feel anything again. <laughs> yeah, today was fun. I don't want to get ahead of myself or really um, invest in something that might hurt me, so I don't know. Maybe we'll just see how it goes, and maybe they'll realize I'm not the one for them. They seem pretty smart, so that's probably what'll happen. Oh, Shane from Stardew Valley. I gotta learn to go easier on myself. Who could love me if I can't love myself? True. I know that everyone thinks of me as a beautiful, cold-blooded monster. I can't help you, Lee. I can't help it. Circulation just isn't my thing. I didn't choose to be cold. This cute hat and robe. Okay, those are choices. Sure. She does have a big hat. Oh, and she has the, um, the red lilies or whatever they're called. That's cool. Actually, they're all over her shirt. I just realized that. I'm very stupid. Her robe? Yeah. Um... If someone were to come around and capture my heart, at least that beats being stabbed in it. Besides, if I'm gonna get bloody revenge on a society that has used me and thrown me away, maybe it wouldn't hurt to have a little help. Okay, Sadako. That's just straight up Sadako from, from Ring. Which is funny because now they have her in Dead by Daylight. You open your eyes. The sun is shining. There's not a cloud in the sky, and you feel great. Totally well-rested. Her bobies. She do got big bobies. Everyone except Wraith in this game has big bobies. And Dwight. Even Trapper's got big bobies. You're not even suspicious of the fact that you fell asleep by the campfire, but woke up several yards down the beach. Wait, are you on vacation? Was yesterday nothing more than a strange dream? No, not a dream. You really are here for another day. Why? I have no idea. You're obviously a weirdo. True. Speaking of weirdos, I see the rest of the gang is hanging out on the beach. This is definitely not a dream. I wouldn't rule out a nightmare just yet, though. At least they make for a sexy bunch, no? True. And talk about sexy. Here comes Trickster carrying coffee. Whoa. Morning, beautiful. I thought you might like a nice cup of joe to start this incredible day off right. Oh god. <laughs> Trickster seems suspiciously cheerful. I'm sure there's nothing nefarious behind his joyful demeanor, though. Everyone knows musicians are mourning people. Are they? Is that like a thing? I also want to wish you luck. Today is an important one. What? Oh my god, it's an inflatable bat! I just realized that. I, I love that so fucking much. My only regret is that I won't be a bigger part of it. Budgeting issue. <laughs> Budgeting issues. Oh, that's funny. 
Also, I'm just swamped with engagements, especially on the other island. Trickster wings at you. If you want to ask him how to reach the other island, now is the time. Never mind. He left. At least he brought me a cup of... No, wait, don't drink that. What the hell was that? They don't call him Trickster because he's good on his skateboard. That would be so cool if he was, though. And he definitely didn't get the name because he brings people drinks so they can have a good morning. That was almost certainly not coffee, and I don't want anyone casually poisoning, imprisoning, or torturing you yet. This is supposed to be a tropical paradise, the type of place that you give a 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, 2 thumbs up review to, not an eternal prison of pain. But please make sure to leave a review, it really helps with the algorithms. Um, speaking of which, I think Twitch has a feedback feature now. You can click the little button that says give feedback, so if you want to give me some feedback, let me know. It's all anonymous, so, you know. Hey, wait a second. How did a possibly omniscient, possibly unreliable unna narrator physically just knock that coffee out of your hand? This is not Parliament, and the floor does not recognize the ocean to speak out of turn at this moment. I need no recognition, for I am the ocean. I dominate the land. I submerge those who defy me and become their watery grave. Actually, speaking of graves, I would like to say something. Something of grave importance. Fine, go ahead. Even if this place is an eternal prison of pain, and I'm not saying it is, even a place of extreme horror can still receive a 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10 thumbs up review, if it was crafted with love, and or that's the type of thing you're into. You know, the ocean is right. A lot of hard work goes into a place like this. You should really judge it on the artist's intent, and whenever possible, start from the mindset of giving them the benefit of the doubt. Constructing these elaborate simulations, I mean, uh, vacations, is not easy to do. Hmm. You guys ever get the feeling that developers in games are, like, talking to you? Maybe about their other game that people, like, famously love shitting on the developers of, you know, like, maybe a little bit of that. I don't know, just a random thought. Trickster is so ripped. They made him very sexy in this game. Sometimes there are some small bugs or inconsistencies, but that's just the nature of the process. Perfection is overrated. The universe is filled with mysteries. Excuse me. We ought to celebrate those who venture to bear their souls as part of a creative process with the ultimate intent of making things for our enjoyment, and not be overly critical of them. Honestly, true. Are you two trying to sell me on this place actually being good? You don't have to say it like that, especially after I saved you from that poorly made cup of coffee. Sorry, we should have been here five minutes ago. They always do this on the second morning. Sad, really. Even if they do make some great points. Oh sure, they make some great points. I agree. Can we please move on? Yes, of course. Apologies, scrambly. The last few minutes aside, have you been enjoying your time here on the island? Um... Yes, I'm not suspicious. There's no no option. <laughs> what an encouraging response. And we're so glad you're not suspicious. Hey, Claudette, maybe Scrumbly isn't suspicious because I, because they figured out what they're actually doing. Zero chance. They're still clicking, even right now, to see how you respond. Hey, look at that. They don't know anything. It doesn't matter, though, Scrumbly. We're so happy. <laughs> I don't know anything. My brain is so small and so smooth. I do not know anything that happens in it. I didn't say I was having fun. We're all having fun, Scrumbly. Do you hear us? We're all having fun. We do need to ask you one more important question, though. We all had to sign away our rights to say anything negative about this place. Would you please sign this non disparagement agreement? Sure, yeah. Yes, I would hereby agree to participate in a verbal contract stating that I, Scrumbly, will never say anything negative about my stay here on this island. Perfect. Delightful. Excellent. Yes. Yes! Hey, Scrumbly, it's still totally cool if you have constructive feedback. The place to leave that is in positive review, because we all know that nobody rates negative reviews of games, or resorts, like this. <laughs> anyway, I see Dwight and Claudette have gone into a trance, and with the grumbling I hear from your belly, that can mean only one thing. Breakfast. Breakfast. 
Perfect timing. Everyone rolls into the dining area to lard up those sexy little bellies with pancakes and bacon and so much for maintaining those beach bods. We're all half naked in a tropical paradise. Can we get some strawberries here? A yogurt? Magic powers will only get you so far. Even killers watch their sodium intake. You take your plate and sit down, thinking about yesterday and the whirlwind of feelings you experienced. Danger, dread, disorientation. It was like going through puberty again, except all in one day on a beautiful and mysterious island. Oh god, a third puberty? I don't know if I can handle that. Please don't do that to me, Dead by Daylight. It looks like you're not the only one doing some introspection, though. Trapper stands up to talk about how his day went, in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> Personally, I wasn't. Hmm. Can't imagine you could make me any angrier today than you did yesterday. But I really hope you do. I really, really hope you do. Unrelated. Anyone see where I left my cleaver? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I always know where my cleaver is. Well, that was bizarre. Back to your Brett note. Now Huntress steps up to talk about her feelings. I feel a stirring inside my animal heart. Something I've never heard boobs. I Sorry, um it's almost like the feeling right before I go into the kill, but softer, warmer. So it sounds like it could be love, or maybe just indigestion from all that raw beef she had last night. <laughs> yeah, she's got lots of raw beef on those arms. You know what I'm saying? No one else would weirdly stand up during breakfast to end just like that. Here comes spirit. Did everyone sleep well? I did, or should I say did not. I haven't slept in 20 years on account of the whole burning quest for familiar revenge thing. And last night was no different, so in that case, it was exactly how it should be. Got a lot of reading done, though. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go back to quietly resenting being trapped here with you all while looking cute doing so. I love her. Guessing Wraith has had enough time to work up this courage to speak in front of a group. <laughs> He's just like me. He's just like me for real. Wraith sitting there, staring at his hands doing something with his fingers, practicing what he's going to say and exactly how he's going to intonate it. Um, and he, like, opens his mouth and, like, leans forward a little bit and then somebody else starts talking and he leans back. Um, but then everybody else is done talking, so he's like, alright, now is my chance. Uh, I'm just describing myself, by the way. <laughs> Who's she? Spirit? Um... She was like a girl who got murdered by her dad and she crawled out into the woods and the spider god came down to her and was like, I'm going to take you and I'm going to turn you into a really, really annoying killer to play against. And she was like, okay. Um, she cute though. Guessing Wraith has had enough time to work. Oh, uh, perfect. There he is. Take us home, Wraith. Oh, hey, that was fun yesterday, yeah? I mean, like, not, like, too much fun. That would be weird, but, uh, like, a good, a good amount of fun. And now they're all looking at you expectantly. Wait, are you supposed to stand up and explain how yesterday made you feel? Uh, I think I need to process everything by myself. I'll see you all soon. <laughs> Damn, what a power play. <laughs> Keep them wanting more. You're getting good at this game or, uh, sexy true-to-life experience. I wish this was true to life. Could you imagine if you just woke up and there were a bunch of gripped sexy murderers there trying to, like, fall in love with you? Man. Shame. I love breakfast so much. It's my favorite meal. After breakfast, you head to the hot tub by yourself to clear your head. Yesterday was, in short, a lot. Before you get there, though, something catches your attention. You hear that? Who are you addressing? Me. Well, yeah, I guess. That is okay, right? You know, I might be pursuing a relationship with one of those four fine... Four, four fine... Four, <laughs> four fine killers. But it feels like the person I'm getting to know the most is you, narrator. It's only okay in so much as it serves to illustrate that you've lost your mind, seeing how I'm not real at all. Yeah, I I heard it this time. I think it's coming from behind the pool shed. No, oh? Oh? Uh, 
is Dwight getting pegged? Because that's what it sounds like is happening behind the pool shed, is that it sounds like Dwight's getting pegged. <laughs> okay. How does that... Uh... I hate this. Stop. Please say something so they know you're close by and can hear everything. Oh wow, look at this cool so bottle of Trickster brand suntan lotion someone left on the tray. Anyone know where I can buy some? Were they actually? I thought it was going to reveal it to be like, oh, they were putting suntan lotion or something. No, Dwight was getting paid. Good lord. You were doing, but it sounded like fun. You think two people trying to find new ways to kill each other in a desperate search to make their own death permanent is fun? Oops. We get five minutes to ourselves every day and we spend it hoping if we stab each other in just the right spot, we won't get resurrected. I've, I've come to believe that the key is finding the exact place we need to be out from and I believe that place is in our appendix. Why else would it be there? <laughs> Makes sense to me. Did you actually think we were me and him? The why? <laughs> I don't know how to like read laughter. Cause I like because it would just be like <laughs> like this like weird fake laugh. Or I can just go ha 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 ha. I don't know, like how do you read laughter? I feel like I feel like H A H A, like the the typical ha 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 is like I feel like it's not a good description of laughter. I don't feel like I'm going like, <laughs> No, that is literally how I laugh, isn't it? Never mind. I take that part back. You have to lean into it. Go full VA. <clears throat> Did you actually think we were me and him? Dwight? I can't do it. I can't do that. I can't. How do voice actors laugh? How do you just laugh at something? I guess you could think of something funny. <laughs> yeah, that works. Okay, cool. You don't have to laugh that hard. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is just uncomfortable now. My life is a nightmare, and yet somehow it's never been worse than right now. Let's go, lover boy. I noted all our entry wounds and our five minutes is up anyways. Good luck, Scrumbly. You're going to need it. And hey, if you figure out how to escape this island, please make sure your ghost tells us how. That was both a tragedy and a comedy. A cragmedy. Or a tra tromedy. My life is a nightmare too, and every day it seems worse. Ah. I didn't know you lived in Los Angeles. <laughs> Shut up. I like it. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, you're headed to the hot tub by yourself to clear your head. Yesterday was in short a lot. So far, today has been exhausting too. But you're dedicated to achieving a true centered sense of calm. No drama, no bullshit. Just soaking up sun in a heated pool. Today, you're on a date with you. Good lord, the Keck W emote on the screen thing, uh, right there is... It, it's disturbing when it's cut off like that, wow. Please y'all joke about being dragged to Brazil? I don't. I don't know anything about Brazil. Why would I joke about it? Every day I wake up Brazilian. <laughs> I was, that's, just, that's such a funny way to fucking word that. <laughs> Every day. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Every night. I feel it. I th I'm Brazilian. <laughs> Come to Brazil. No. You're in Brazil, Ellie?
Ooh, I like that. I want to be on a date with me. Who would make the first move? And aside from that disturbing thought, all is going to plan until a shadow blocks your precious sun. At the end of the day, aren't we all in Brazil? True. I love Starship Troopers. Spiky tipped, like a palm tree is bending over to screw with you. But it's no tree at all, it's... Hey, babe. Breakfast is weird, huh? Everyone just getting up and announcing how they're feeling. What's that about? Some kind of forced check-in with the group? I don't like it. Fishy. Kind of lazy. Whatever, though. Breakfast is done. No one should eat before noon or after 4 p.m. Yeah, I do intermittent fasting. You see my abs, by the way? <laughs> Maybe you can see them later at my private stage on the other island. You know, IP Island, where all the Hollywood celebs hang out. If you play your cards right, I could give you a private show. Catch you around. His abs are pretty amazing. You gotta give him that. And the blow-up bat? Threatening, but adorable. Makes for an interesting silhouette. Genius design. He's a psychopath, just like the rest of them. You don't gotta give him anything, and we're not best friends. Just because we had a little talk about doing a little talking, it's not an open invitation to go smashing the fourth wall every five seconds. Okay, now that that guy is gone and we've got some ground rules established that we're definitely going to abide by, it's time to lay back, take some deep, slow breaths, and... Nope, another shadow. These people will not leave you alone. Let's see who it is this time. Huntress. Hmm... It's like that meme with Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. We should get out of here. I know a place that's quiet and out of the way. No one will be able to hunt us. I mean... Oh, God, excuse me. I, for mid -sentence. I mean, hear us there. Doesn't that sound intriguing, but immediately a flood of worry uh, floods your brain. Should you pack a picnic, bring a swimsuit, a pocket knife? You decide to bring as much as you can. You may have to make a run for it at some point, and you should be prepared. I hope she I hope she murders me too, in real life. But not with her axe. With her thighs. <laughs> Dawn. <laughs> Same thought. Same thought. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so you've got nothing to gather. Are you really ready for this? I mean, they call her the Huntress, not the Hugstress. You look up at this towering goddess trying to form a sentence when suddenly, before you can decide if you want to go off with her, the spirit interjects. You really think you're going to have fun with her? All the running and wrestling, and not like in the clever double entendre way, but actual physical wrestling. I'm exhausted just thinking about it. Listen, you're kind of weird, and I'm kind of weird, and like, I don't know, I maybe thought maybe you want to sit down and own the whole world together for a while, yeah? Tough choice. You weigh your options quickly, because you can only go on one date today, and you also don't want to be hacked to pieces for saying the wrong thing. It's always good to remember that these are all cold-blooded killers, but you know what they say. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. And then die a horrible, wretching, writhing death after drinking it because the lemons were poisoned all along. Pop my head like a watermelon, mommy. <laughs> Christ alive. I mean, same, but Christ alive. Sorry, this island has really got me tilted. So who will it be? Huntress, 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 Huntress. Uh, I gotta go with Huntress. Wee! Look at her, she's so cute! How could I not? Who else would I go with? I got an achievement called Forest Friend. You and Huntress make your way to the secluded beach house. Uh, your heart thrums in your chest. Don't look it up. Thrums is a real word, I swear. Are these nerves of excitement or terror? Isn't it fun to mix the sexy and the horrifying? You know what? I kind of want to take a break. Um, I kind of want to take like a little 15 minute-ish, maybe 20 minute break. Um, just to like snack a little bit, you know, walk around, that sort of thing. Um, 
So I think I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna go on this date with the Huntress, okay? Let me save. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put my lo-fi on. Don't let me forget to turn the audio on when I'm back. Okay. I will be our B, everybody. Thank you all for joining me for my return back to the land of the, um... What would I even call Twitch? The rough place. Uh, oh god. God damn it. There's all of the chat things again. Mm. <laughs> How did I even do that? How did I manage to get three things of chat on one screen? Good lord. Um, what is this? What is... Is it... My copy of starting widgets. There we go. Enjoy it while you can, Ellie. All right, fixed it. Okay, now I will be right back. See you all in a little bit.
Hello, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick and then I will be back. So sit tight, keep your butts in your seats, except don't do that. Get up, move around, make sure that your blood is flowing. You never want to sit down for too long. Make sure you're hydrated. Make sure you have taken your meds and I will see you all in a little bit.
Thank you, Rick. Thank you. Um, I did not do that, but I appreciate your well wishes. Next time I do, I will do it well. Um, I'm also hello. I'm back. I'm gonna I'm gonna sip a little bit of my tea. Huntress, hi. Well, hi there. Hey, hey, Trevor. Hey, spirit. Look at her. Hi, Wraith. Hello. That. Hi, mamas. Um, I want to show you all something cool, though. Uh, so, I just, I want to show this off, okay? I want to show this off because I think it's really cool and I think it's a cool thing that I found and I want to share it, you know? So, I found this thing called Mid Journey. It's like one of those AI art bots, but this one goes to the next fucking level. This isn't like a fucking ad or anything. I don't want you to go do it. Um, cause it's kind of complex and it was a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, but I created some really, really cool AI generated stuff for a, uh, uh, the, the setting that I've been world building, um, a lot for recently. And I wanted to share, uh, what I built cause I think it's really cool. Um, There we go. Oh, it's like too big. Uh, window capture. Why are you so large? Let's just let's just trim you down a little bit. This is like I'm not really sure what, but I do have like a plague of crystals in my setting, and so I was imagining this as like what somebody who might be like in a super advanced stage of the plague um would be in or how they would appear uh this is a very similar thing to that uh i think these next two that's just some art that i made uh for this one i typed in devastation of a war or the devastation of a war between gods and this is what it came up with so that kind of fucks um <laughs> I think the next few are actually part of that. Uh, yeah, these are these are all what it came up with for that for that line. Uh, Devastation of a war between gods. Very fucking sick. I'm so happy with how these came out. This was uh, what was it? I think it was time itself. Um, Kim, hi, hi. When did you get a 3D model? Uh, like last month? Something like that. Well, okay, not last month, but like uh, June-ish, I think, I want to say. Something like that. Um, yeah, this this is what the AI interpreted time itself as, and I just went with it, because, like, that's fucking awesome. Look at this. You made that? I didn't make this. This was an AI program. Um, and yeah, how are you doing, Cam? How's it going? How's it going? Yeah, mid journey. How did you know? You you just already knew. You already know. Damn. Um, this I put as the crown of time because I have like a mythical artifact in the setting called the crown. Um, and I liked this, so I figured like you know, throw that in there, um, or throw the words of time uh because then it's it decides it's gonna do some fucking wacky stuff with it uh and that's exactly what i wanted so it came up with this which is awesome uh this was the same prompt um which is so fucking cool uh this this was one of the gods in my setting um former god uh, and he just looks so fucking sick. Uh, this is the other former god. Um, and it gave her, like, this really cool, like, flower antler crown, which I think was so sick. Oh, that's it. Whoops. 
All right, so that's that. That's that's. I just wanted to show those off because I think they're so fucking cool. Um, and I'm probably gonna end up like subscribing to Mid Journey. Um, at least for like a month, you know. It's ten bucks, which is not worth it. But uh, well, you get you get a fair amount for the ten bucks, but ten bucks is still a lot to be charging, you know, for like the minimum price. But I get it. AI projects are expensive. Um. Okay, the sound works. I've been using it too. Hell yeah. It's dope. It's so cool. What have you been using it for? And also I started my new job today. That's so cool. How is how was that going? How did that how did that how's that working out? Get it working out. Haha ha, ha, ha. Um instantly dies. We're uh we're playing the Dead by Daylight dating sim, as it says in big huge letters down there. You know what else it says in small letters down there? Wow. Anyways, um, that 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 reminds me. Fucking Twitch was like, "Oh, hey, we're lowering the payout threshold from a hundred dollars to fifty. and I was like, "Oh, that's so cool! Wow, I'm so stoked about that." You know, more often, uh, you know, like more frequent payments. That's so cool. And then I looked at it, and it's like. In Japan, Thailand, Vietnam, and like a few other countries, and I was like, "For real?" <laughs> um, it's supposed to get rolled out over to like other countries up to like November, which is a long ass time, and I hope the U.S. is soon. It's weird to me that they have to roll it out like that, though. I'm not really sure what the reason is behind that. Uh, that, sorry, that just reminded me. Me and my friends have been using it for D&D concept art stuff. That's exactly what I'm using it for. I feel like that's what most people are using it for. Um, it, it's just really good at that kind of stuff. It's really good at that kind of stuff. It's... Ugh. I've seen a lot of people using it for like Blades in the Dark concept. Um, also, my new job is very cool and chill, which I'm happy about. It's like office jobby more than manual labor. That's nice. You definitely, yeah. That definitely seems more your speed, for sure. I'm glad it's very cool and chill, though. That sounds really nice. Uh, I'm, I'm glad. What is it, if you don't mind me asking? Or if you don't mind sharing in, like, you know, Twitch chat? Um, let's see. We were about to go on a date with the Huntress. There she is. Hello. Six hour shifts. Not bad. You and Huntress make your way to the secluded beach house. Your heart thrums in your chest. Don't look at- oh, I already read this. I will not be sharing in Twitch chat. That's super fair. That's super duper fair. Uh, I'm glad- I'm glad that it's working out though well so far. That sounds pretty dope. Isn't it fun to mix the sexy and horrifying? Hmm. Huntress is quiet as a mouse as she guides you through the island forest. You struggle to keep up with her. She moves like a jungle cat, all muscle and silent leaps across thorny bush. I will, however, be sharing my social security number. Wow, that's so cool. Um, yeah, just toss that in chat. Um... <laughs> uh. And Huntress is about to hit me with an axe. She halts suddenly and you crash into her, having been desperately trying to keep up. You follow her gaze and you realize that you've arrived. A cabin in the woods, obligatory in nearly all horror films and stories, and you've come here willingly with a fearsome killer. Great job. It's because the fearsome killer is very muscular. 4269666. I wonder if that's somebody's, like, real, <laughs> real social security number. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine if you got yours and it was, like, 4269666? Like... <laughs> That would be such a fun, like, that would be so banger. Um, cabin is cozy, but something seems off about it. You can't quite put your finger on what it is. 
Huntra stares at you through her bunny mask, cocking her head to the side as if trying to gauge your reaction to her hideaway. Aren't they nine digits? I don't think so. Aren't they eight? I can never remember mine, so like... I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure. Are you holding out on us? <laughs> Everyone's like waiting. Like... <laughs> I like this music. Are you going to invite me inside? Why do you need an invitation? Are you a vampire? Mine is nine. Maybe I'm just dumb. I'll type it in chat to prove- yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that would really, um, um, help, help me out here. They're normally nine, but I have a special one from the government because I'm their special person. The Princess of the United States of America. Would that make me a princess too? Hell yeah! I'm the government's special princess. Haha, <laughs> no. Oh. Is it me, or did Huntress seem a little disappointed? I mean, same though, Huntress. Same. Like, oh, are you a vampire? And they're like, no. It's just all oh. tragic. I've been watching First Kill with Eileen. Um, it kind of blows ass, honestly. But um, it makes me wish I had a vampire friend. I think that would be pretty cool. Didn't peg her. I would, uh, for a lover of the fang, but hey, I don't judge. Come in, let's explore. We're gonna explore the spooky cabin. It, th this is nice. What? <laughs> it didn't get renewed and I'm depressed about it? I'm not. I don't think it's good. I don't, it's... I haven't finished it yet, but so far it is just... Like, the first few episodes were alright. But, I, like, I don't know, it just instantly went down the supernatural path of getting way too convoluted. And, like, very much getting away from, I think, the concept that was really strong originally. Okay, but it being bad is what's good about it? I don't think it's... I don't know. It's not like, oh, it's so bad it's good, like Riverdale or something, where it's just, like, fucking ridiculous. It's, like, it's, it's so bad that it's annoying is the tier that it's at for me, you know? Not like, ah, oh, it's like cheesy and like, you know, or like, you know, you know, it's like a fun little, I don't know. I actually have not seen Riverdale, so I don't know if that's a good comparison. My, my, my base for like fun, fun show that I think isn't really that good, but I still love it is Winona Earp. Also gay, highly recommend that. Um, and, I don't know, I think this was way worse than that. I, 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 I just, I don't know, it just got so weird. Or it's getting so weird, I should say. I have not finished it, just like I said. It's like, like, not weird in the sense that like, oh, there's like weird stuff happening or whatever. Weird in the sense that like, nothing makes sense. Like, no nothing that's happening makes any sense. And it's not like fun, it just sort of happens. Because it feels like they, like, didn't know what to do. And they were like, well, what if this happens? And they were like, the writer's room was like, yeah, okay, sure. Uh, we need to pad out these 40 minute long episodes with a... I think it's because they, they resolved the story. I think they resolved the main conflict of the story instantly. Not instantly, but like, first two episodes. It's like, like, you're there for, like, a romance story. And they, like, get together and, like, fall in love in, like, the first episode. And it's like, okay. Like, there's, it, and, the, and they, they, like, they resolved it. Like, and then now it's just stuff happening around that. And it's like, okay, that, I don't know. For me, it whiffed. Super hard. I think it sucks that it got cancelled just because there's not a lot of, like, queer rep like that. 
Um, but it's Netflix, so I'm not super surprised. It just, it just doesn't hurt me personally that it did. What is this? What is this clip of? What have you clipped um, me saying? It kind of blows ass, honestly. <laughs> but, um, it makes me wish I had a vampire friend. I think that would be pretty cool. Are you sending this to Sarah, Ava? I feel like you clipped that to send it to Sarah. I don't know. That's <laughs> That was my first thought. <laughs> you follow her inside. It's creepy, rickety, and definitely not up to code, but it has a certain homey charm. Okay, I'm still mad about this. <laughs> so, like... <laughs> God, how long ago was this? Probably, like, eight or seven... Like, seven or eight years ago. I was running a game of Dungeons and Dragons for my friends. This was back in high school or like just after high school or something. Um, and I described, I forget what it was, but I described a building as homey. And they were like, that's not a word. Uh, like that's, that, that's not a word. Do you mean, do you mean homely? And I was like, I, I guess if homey isn't a word, but. Uh, and then I looked it up later and it was a word. And now every time I see the word homely, I get mad about that. <laughs> because I'm like, no, that's a real word, you stupid idiots. <laughs> From seven years ago. <laughs> I'm very normal. Um, I clipped it just because, but I... W oh, okay, okay, okay. You're quite the decorator. She blesses. Indeed she is. A chandelier made of bones hangs delicately from the foyer ceiling. And a collection of trinkets lines the mantle. That's so cool. That rules. Something tells you the people who once owned these things are not of this mortal coil anymore. Could you be Huntress's next victim? I would be. The thought gives you a wicked thrill. They know me so well. Hey, she's looking at you again. What do you think of my collection? I could learn to like this? It's so much. Why can't I just say I think this rules? I'm more of a minimalist? That's a dick thing to say. I don't know. It's just like, hey, what do you think? And they're like, I'm like, I'm more of a minimalist, personally. I don't like clutter. Whatever. Um, I would punch them in the face. It's so much. Sounds like I don't like it. And I'm trying to appease. I could learn to like it. Also sounds like I don't like it, but I do like it. This is so cute. It's like grandma core, but like grandma core from like 1890. You know? 1890 cottage core lesbians. Um, let's see, I guess I'll say I could learn to like this. It's, hey, there's blood on the floor. Um, it's so much. Are you, ooh. No, what a ho- what? Just instantly, oh, you call her a fucking horror. Cause she has a fun collection of bones. <laughs> I could learn to like this. Okay, okay, this is, yeah. There we go, this isn't... I knew you'd like it here. You have the eye of someone who appreciates fine, stolen things. <laughs> I can't wait to go treasure hunting with you. We could find so many goodies on the island. But first, what do you think of the other killers on the island? I mean, Trickster is pretty out there, but everyone else seems like they have their own interesting backstories and whatnot. A little gossip, huh? What are you playing at, Scrumbly? Huntress considers this for a beat. She seems to have two modes, thoughtful and explosive. You hope to never be in the splash zone when the explosive part emerges. Why? Are you jealous? 
Before you can answer, the house begins to shake. Uh, Huntress loses her balance on the termite-infested floor and falls into your arms. You're not mad about it, but before you have time to enjoy taking this moment in... What? Crabs? Oh no, it's an attack! A horde of killer crabs invade through the crevices in the poorly constructed cabin. That art made it look very well constructed. I don't know what that... Are those mud crabs? Yes, but they have D4s on top of them. They race at you and Huntress in swarms, clacking their razor-sharp claws at you. You must act quickly. What will you do? Grab a shashka? What's a shashka? I'm gonna look that up. Shashka. Oh, it's a saber. Well, a, a type of saber. That's cool. Absolutely, I'm gonna grab a fucking sword. You quickly reach out and grab a shashka off the wall. Being the highly educated person that you definitely are, you know that a sh <laughs> would have just told me. You know that a shashka is a Russian sword, not an umbrella or a can of cola or something else like that. Back to back with Huntress, you both hack away at the attacking crustaceans. Is she falling in love with you because you're beating shit up with her? I didn't realize I made my D&D character just be Huntress. You manage to slay the majority of the killer crabs. The ones you miss go scurrying away back into their hidey holes. Huntress turns to you with a gaze that's full of passion and intrigue. However, before it bubbles away, bubbles over, she looks away, suppressing this feeling. Is she nervous? Huntress sits down on the wicker couch and begins cleaning the guts off of her hatchet. It's an obligatory scene for every killer. You're just not happy to you're just happy not to be the source of what she's wiping off. Looks like we're having crab for dinner. She doesn't smile at your joke. She has that ponderous look on her face again. You join her on the couch. Man, sometimes those near-death experiences really got me thinking about what I want and what, what is happening to her foot. I'm sorry, I just looked through the thing. What? That's a fucked up foot. <laughs> wow, um, sorry. April, this is making me want to play Huntress. Do it. Huntress is my favorite killer. I think I'd really like to start a family one day. Maybe one day with the right person. I mean, it's a life-changing decision. You have to make sure it's right. Huntress smiles coyly. A good answer. You never know what kind of weirdos are out there. What were you like as a kid? You try to imagine this giantess as a, me as a meek child in a puffer coat wandering about the forest. Huntress chuckles, her laugh quite cute and soft. <laughs> that's, that's her laugh, right? That's, I think that's what they meant. I was so innocent. We hunted to survive, then went back to the cottage, and Mother would tell me stories, and we'd drink tea and imagine a life far away from the woods. Somewhere like this. I suppose I finally achieved what she always wanted from me, but since coming here, something feels off. It's beautiful and warm, and everyone is so attract. Bisexual queen? I mean... I mean, I guess there is no gender when you select your character, so it's kind of assumed that every character is bisexual, but still. Like, thirst traps galore, but don't you get the feeling that something is coming for us? Oh no, she's on to you, but on to you about what? Swirling memories rush through your head. Nightmares, visions of a dark cloud. Claudette and Dwight's vacant stares that belies some sort of hypno hypnosis. Quick, validate her theory or try to push it off. I kind of know what that- I kind of know what she's getting at. I think you're onto something. What do you know? How long have you all been here? Do you remember anything at all about why we might be here? I've been having these dreams. Seeing things. I think we're all serving some greater purpose here. Huntress reveals a strange object that she stole from near the stage where Trickster performs. It has some strange symbol on it. A bottle? Truthfully, it doesn't seem that strange to you. It's just a glass bottle. However, the label is interesting. She hands it over to you, but before she can explain her theory, Claudette and Dwight burst in and you on, on you and interrupt. 
we have a dramatic announcement. But it needs to happen back at the beach. Wow. Tragic. You arrive at the beach and realize you were set up. There's no big announcement after all. What we have here is a good old-fashioned rivalry. It's true. Exactly like that voice that we cannot hear and certainly aren't referencing says. We were forced to interrupt your lovely date by another killer. They are here and ready to make your offer of love you won't be able to deny. Trapper emerges from the water. What? He's pure thirst. He's Paul Newman on horseback. He's Denzel on the cover of GQ. Manly manliness brought to life. It's not what I want to. Where's the femboy killer? Um, oh, trickster. Um, but also, was he holding his breath under there the whole time waiting for his cue? That's commitment to a bit if I've ever seen it. Heard you've spent the day. Heard you've spent the day in a quaint cottage. That's cute. How about a quaint mansion? Or better yet, how about one on each continent? Yeah, I'm including Antarctica. I'm really, really rich. Think of how cozy we can get there in the snowy ten-bedroom chateau. One of those pools that is half indoor, half outdoor, but nice and warm throughout. But that way you can kill a mama polar bear from the outside while watching her coats cry over her body from the inside. Wow, Trapper is the real deal. And by real, I do mean really, and by deal, I mean evil. Plus, you want to hunt for the food for the rest of your life? With me, you get it both ways. Savagery and someone to clean up after you. Sounds nice, huh? Ugh, as if. That life isn't for me, bro. I'm very impressed you can speak with implied quotation marks. Very cool. This guy's a total douche nozzle. Try hard much? He's like the turn of the century Pacific Northwest version of a Wall Street bro. <laughs> oh god. Trapper's a crypto bro. Trust me, it tracks. Patrick Bateman with a huge chip on his shoulder. You wouldn't go with him if he were brandishing a cleaver at you. Oh shit, he is. Give in to anger? What does that mean? He is so obsessed with you? He is. He is. Call him Michael Myers the way I'm his obsession. Um, give in to anger? I feel like if I give in to... Uh, I feel like if I lightly reject him, he's gonna, he's gonna, like, murder me. Whereas if I forcefully reject him and, like, give in to anger or whatever the hell that means, then he's gonna, like, put him down. He's not gonna want to. How dare you? You think you can come in here and ruin my date with Huntress? <laughs> Fight Trapper. <laughs> Banish Trapper? What do either of these options mean? If I fight Trapper, he's gonna absolutely destroy me. Or it's gonna be a mini game. I feel like if I banish him, he's not going to actually be banished, and he's going to come back and murder me at the very end. But if I fight him, I can probably win the mini game. I feel like. Murder that boy. He going to get murdered. I'm going to fight him. It's on, rich boy. You grab Huntress's hatchet and run at Trapper. Oh, no. Huntress thinks that's really hot. Unfortunately, Trapper is ruthless and easily kills you with one vicious swipe of his cleaver. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he stands over your dying body, looking down on you with a hint of sorrow. That was pretty sexy, but no one comes at the Trapper. Bah, <laughs> maggot. <laughs> Oh, fuck. At, yeah, at least I died doing what I love. Looking hot for women. Whoa! All the way back here? Good lord. There we go. Do not. Hey, Bar. I don't plan on it. I don't plan on it. 
Huntress is acceptable. I mean, Trapper's acceptable. They're, I think they're all acceptable, if I'm going to be real with you. But, I don't know. Trapper's not my type. Ellie is correct. Let's try to banish him. I'm also, I'm gonna, I can't save. Banish Trapper. Now I can, no, I don't wanna save. No, 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 no. You think you can come in here and ruin my day with Huntress? I'm about to send you packing, friend. You draw yourself up to the tallest height, which is still much smaller than Huntress or Trapper. Just how I like it. Fie upon thee, Evan. <laughs> what? <laughs> Evan of House Macmillan. I banish ye from this beach. Perish or thrive. I care not. Both Trapper and Hunter stare at you confused. I mean, I'm confused too. When did Shakespeare arrive on the island? Trapper backs away. You've made a mega enemy today. Better watch your back and your stock portfolio. <laughs> He's being good at business is a big part of my character. I know it only comes up sporadically, but it's important. Trapper out. You turn back to Huntress. Shall we continue our date? Uh-oh. Okay, well, I'm not getting hacked in half by Cleaver. Huntress leads you back to her cabin. You thought you'd remember the way. I like this music. What? You, but it's like the forest has completely changed. Nothing is familiar. Better not get lost out here. Can you believe that guy? Classic trapper pulling a move like that. I'm so glad you chose me, though. I don't think we've explored all there is between us yet. She winks a bunny-masked eye and scoops you up onto her back? Huntress runs through the woods with you piggyback riding her. The wind ruffles your hair. Animals clear a path for the mighty woodswoman as she races you like the lead from that famous- I should work out. Famous teen vampire drama in that one scene where he calls her- I was thinking of the fucking Twilight scene, too. Wow. Huntress doesn't call you that. <laughs> Whee! Eventually, she gently lowers you to the ground and you take in your surroundings. A wooded clearing in the forest. Huntress prances about like a deer in a meadow. I like to come here sometimes to clear my head and hack up a few cute woodland creatures. Foxes are my favorite to slaughter. They think they are so cute and sly, but I see right through them. They're just assholes. Great with hot sauce. What is this, like, fucking western music? Huntress hears rustling and darts off to find its source, crouching down low like an animal. Now you're alone in the middle of the forest. Which way did you come from again? No idea. Your sense of direction is all off. A mellifless voice floats through the air, landing upon your ears like syrupy honey. I'll... Ellie. <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing this, and I just I just get the notification that you just opened up Dead by Daylight. <laughs> oh, you're so great. Uh, come find me. Mini games consist of two parts. Okay, okay, so I just have to hit the thing. <laughs> Leave me be. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just thought it was so funny. Whoa, what is this? Not bad, not bad. You're pretty good. Perfect. Oh my god. This little bunny thing is so cute though. Oh. Not even close that thing. Oh, Jesus, this is hard. This is so hard. Ah. It, why does it get faster? Tag. Oh, my God, look at her. You bop Huntress on the shoulder when you find her. She high fives you. You trying to date this young lady or just bro down all day? You're so good at hiding. I'm having a real blast. Her hi. Thanks. They say it takes 10,000 hours of practice to get good at something. Hey, they do say that. That was fun, huh? 
I keep trying to just relax and have a good time, but that's really hard for me. Anytime I let my guard down, something terrible happens. Oh no, pissing myself. Ellie, are you okay? She has become incontinent. I just loaded up DVD and was greeted by the wall from Attack on Titan. Is there an Attack on Titan chapter? What? <laughs> what? That was fun, huh? I keep trying to just relax and have a good time, but that's really hard for me. Anytime I let my guard down, something terrible happens. Oh. But what if we let our... Okay, that's... Like what? Sometimes I find young girls in the woods, little perfect angels that need my protection. But if I turn my back for a moment, they wind up dying. That got dark, but you feel like Huntress wouldn't admit this to just anyone. Check Discord. Oh my fucking god. Why is there a... Why is there an attack on top? Hold on, I have to look at the... F what? What? Dead by Daylight. Roots of Dread. It's not Roots of Dread. It's not Sadako Rising. Oh, so it's just skins? I, that's so weird. Can you can you send me the Colossal Titan skin picture, please? Huntress wouldn't just admit it's just anyone. Oh, look, Claudette and Dwight are back. Okay, we swear we are here for a good reason this time. Yeah, no one is manipulating us this time. It's just time for dinner. Come get some grub. Jake has Levi. Oh, Christ. Ugh. Oh. What a fun day you've been having. I can see it written all over your face. You're shining. And that's not just the remaining anxious sweat from spending all afternoon courting a psycho killer. No, no, you really are feeling this whole romantic experience. Don't worry, I'll keep your dirty little secrets. <laughs> but enough gentle ribbing. It's time to get back to business. All the <clears throat> appetizing singles have arrived for dinner, including Trickster. Wraith is here too. We're not going to do the gag where we cram them all on screen at the same time again, so just believe me, they're all here and they're just as sexy and demented as you remember them. With your love on the line, everyone is being very careful not to offend you by saying the wrong things. Oh god. Oh my god, that is so cursed. Ugh. <sighs> Congrats, by the way, on getting this far. I'm as surprised as you are that these four are falling for you. No, not because of your personality, but because you just met them yesterday. However, since Trapper seems like the biggest long shot to end up holding onto your heart, he throws caution to the wind and speaks up. It's pretty small consolation prize for being the least loved killer on Murderer's Island, but hey, letting them all have this one moment in the spotlight is, is, is the least we can do, and heaven knows they won't do any better than that. If I'm solo dining, I'm eating what I want, and you're all eating it too. Lamb shank, rare, salt, pepper. No sauce is allowed, and serve it with one single piece of broccoli so Rafe won't complain. <laughs> I like broccoli. Gives me horrible gas. Oh, I don't like that. Buddy, wait till you smell what rare lamb does to my mouth. Ew, trapper. Dinner will be served shortly, but certain power brokers would like to know about your day. Would you like to share your day with the rest of the group? You've had an interesting day, that's for sure, but how will you describe it to the others? Say too much or too little and it could affect your standing with the group. Okay, but don't just sit there saying nothing. Nothing is not an option. Tell of your brush with death. Today was nuts. We went to Huntress's secret cabin and the killer crabs attacked us. It's true. I'll fall asleep tonight to the delicious sound of crunching crustaceans. 
That would never happen on my yacht. I grind them up. Much more satisfying way to kill crabs. At least those kinds of crabs. I have a little comb for the up. Uh. <laughs> Trapper. <laughs> no. No. Oh God. Trapper. Oh God. Good God. <laughs> Dwight and Claudette bring out dinner. Everyone eats in silence. No one trusts anyone now, and they are all very tired. Oh wait, no, sorry. That's a dreary supernatural horror thriller set in Antarctica. Not a not a charming parody dating sim set in an undisclosed tropical paradise. Bonny appetits. Don't you mean bon? No, almost everything we serve here has lots of bones in it. Even the vegetables. <laughs> Impossible to avoid on this island. Everyone eats without speaking. Tensions are rising, both of the sexual and deadly variety. When everyone finishes, Dwight and Claudette come back to clean up the table. They linger around you as they pick up your plate. Take your napkin and dust crumbs off of the table. What would you like to say to the servants? Thanks, guys. Your top sop, sop nervous... Your top-notch service is much appreciated. I point to Discord once again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The... <laughs> That's fucking wild. <gasps> That's so funny. They gave Aaron Yeager to Dwight. They did. They really did. <laughs> Thank you, Ellie. Your top-notch service is much appreciated. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I just realized I should probably... Oh, no, wait. Never mind. I'm chilling. In fact, here. You flip a gold coin in their direction. For us? Just for doing our jobs? Thank you kindly. Everyone, if you would please be so kind as to follow us to the fire pit, we'd greatly appreciate it. We've been told something big is going to happen. Something that will change everything. Okay. I think this will be a good place to stop after the big thing happens. We'll see. You can go willingly or you can go unwillingly. You have no choice, tough cookies. Did you have a choice on how you said that, dweeb? Yes, and I immediately regret how I did. Good, something needs to change around here. Fire is rebirth. Fire illuminates the soul. I hope the fire isn't too smoky. Smoke hurts my eyes. I have pretty sensitive eyes. I'm also horribly afraid of it. The fire, I mean, not my eyes. Because of childhood trauma involving fire. And finally, everyone starts moving toward the fire pit. If only to get away from race complaining. Hey, listen. Let him be. You take a sit on a comfortable log, feeling the fire's heat against your skin, and wait for other killers to take their places, wondering who will want to tell a story this time. Will narrator tell a story? I bet they've got a stunningly creative mind. Hey, you think, are they allowed to simply place thoughts in my mind like this? Doesn't seem fair. Everyone makes their way in, but something unexpected happens. Nothing. Nothing happens. Something almost always seems to be happening here, so nothing is probably not a great sign. There they are. Oh, cool. And now everyone is looking at you. So, you know, do something. Should I pick someone or tell a story? Or we could play charades? Boggle? <laughs> um, well, we were actually thinking, why don't you tell us a story? Wraith points his spine and skull staff thing in the jig at you. You duck out of its way. No one knows what that thing can do. Probably shoots lasers. Try not to bore us. We're just very interested in you. Don't speak for me, Huntress. 
Now you can't tell if you're warm from the fire or if it's nerves heating up. I know that the fire is right here, but maybe if we stop talking about it all the time, we can start to pretend it's not here and doesn't, you know, threaten to burn us alive. He's not supposed to hear me. Get out of here, Wraith. Scrumbly was about to make an important decision about telling a story. Um, yeah, I'll tell a story. Why would I not tell a story? Trickster! Uh, okay, so what type of story do you want to tell? Hmm. Romance, action, or adventure? I feel adventure. I feel like I feel like we're gonna go with adventure. All right, you like your Dwayne the Rock Johnson movies? How about some adventure? Now we're talking. It's not my favorite, but I respect your choice and will nod politely. You don't have to say that, Wraith. Just nod politely. I really like to go fishing. Solid hobby. Great foundation for a story. You pause. Everyone is waiting with bated breath. No pun intended. Oh wait, that's it? Not much of a story. Barely even a thought. My pun was better than that story. You sure? You sure that's all you have to say? No, I'm just kidding. No, I was just kidding. So what type of story do you want to tell? Uh... Romance? Per I don't want to put it on too thick with the romance story, but I don't want to get too, like, uncomfortably deep with the personal story. I feel like the action story is just going to be a joke. I'll go with personal. I'll get a little personal now, if that's okay. Those types of tales are the best, and often the most sad. It's a bit of a love story. Is it about two strong hunters who meet when they both try to bludgeon the same wily wolverine? Or about a deranged killer who makes the only woman who ever believed him witness a display of shocking violence? <laughs> oh, trickster. <laughs> you goofy guy, you. Not quite. It's about my parents. Uh-oh. Parental trauma. They met at a party in college. He was hosting and she'd been dragged there by some friends. Oh. They couldn't have been more different, and yet, as the night went on, they were drawn to each other. <sighs> she made fun of his taste in music, and he took an interest in her major, women's studies. They were married within two months? Okay. A bit soon to know if you can trust someone, don't you think? It's so sweet. Exactly. I learned a lot about love from them. If you know, you know. Some people don't need years to get acquainted with someone. Love could spark from across, from a look across a campfire. Now you've got their attention. Each killer is furiously attempting to catch your eye from across the fire pit. It's quite alarming, actually. <laughs> Except for Trickster, who has headphones in and is loudly playing his own music to drown you out. I love him. I love him so much. Okay, that was not a very good story. I don't mean to insult you, but it was actually quite bad. Sorry, but this narrator keeps it real. We can't just end there. So who else would you like to hear a story from tonight? You look from killer to killer, trying to decide who might be the most entertaining. Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to go with spirit. Or Huntress? I don't know. I don't even know what kind of story Huntress would tell. I'm going to go with spirit. I suppose I could tell a story. I don't really want to, but anything I say is sure to be better than whatever you got get out of anyone else in this room. <laughs> Like all good stories, I stole this one from someone in the past who is dead now and can't do anything about it. That's so cool. It's called The Bride. Uh, technically, I suppose the fiancé. One winter, a young couple decided that the next spring they would be married. The two were madly in love and could not wait for the snow to melt, so they could join in matrimony and unite their souls for eternity. Per the latest bridal trends, they decided to have their wedding ceremony at the edge of the woods by a beautiful shabby chic farmhouse. Shabby chic? <laughs> Together they spent months planning the details of their wedding. 
The two created invitations, figured out seating arrangements, and tasted 100 cakes before settling on the perfect one. They chose Lily Koi, by the way. So fancy. When it came time to figure out the decorations, however, the bride's or the fiancé, I guess, since she wasn't actually married yet, wanted to take the lead and set the style. After all, her boyfriend had been wearing cargo shorts and open-toe sandals for pretty much their entire relationship, so he was definitely not to be trusted. <laughs> Damn. Having decided on such a lovely natural setting for the ceremony, the fiancé decided that she would create unique floral arrangements from the local wildfires. Wildfires? Californian brain, I'm sorry. Uh, that's wild flowers that surrounded the farmhouse. As soon as the sun rose on the first day of spring, she set off into the woods. Each day she spent hours mapping where, out where the best blooms could be found and prepared to pick them herself the morning of the wedding so that they'd be at the height of their freshness and beauty. Enamored with the incredible variety of flowers in the woods she surveyed, the bride, uh, the fiancé, since they had not yet been married, became obsessed with knowing just how many there were so that she could choose the absolute best. When the fateful morning of her big day finally came, the fiancé told her husband-to-be that she had one final errand before the wedding. Excited for the ceremony to come, she dressed in her beautiful white gown and set off into the woods to gather flowers. Treading carefully, she followed her route, selecting only the best stems and collecting them in a basket. However, when she came upon a once-familiar clearing, something was not as she expected. Somehow, it was more beautiful now than it had ever been before, and just on the edge of her view was a new bush filled with blossoms so vibrant and colorful she became dizzy just by looking at them. This is weird. But the fiancé ignored her sudden spell and pressed ahead, scooping up flower after flower. Uh, and every time she did, she noticed just further ahead and possibly even more beautiful blossoms. Carried by the sweet fragrance of spring air, the fiancé uh, crept further and farther into the woods until she turned a corner. <sighs> Stepped over a mossy fallen tree trunk and realized she had been here before. But this wasn't the clearing she remembered, or at least not how she remembered it. The flowers were suddenly overripe, decaying, falling from their stems into festering molten piles on the floor. Where bees had been, now only flies buzzed. Where the where the scene of flowers had once intoxicated her, the odor of mildew now made her sick. She turned and looked back, but the path was dark. Into the shadowy glen, she walked and walked and walked. That day, as guests gathered at the farmhouse, the fiancé was nowhere to be seen. Her friends, family, and love began to look for her, but to no avail. They searched the pasture, the tree line, and into the forest, but there were no beautiful wildflowers or young lovers to be seen. Just dead old trees, trampled vines, and moss-covered rocks. The fiancé stayed a fiancé for eternity, always wandering, looking for flesher, flesher, fresher blooms to clip, but never finding them. Distracted by a never-ending search for perfection, unable to see that you are loved for who you are. Out there all alone. I thought it was beautiful and sad, just like someone we know. Aww. Her again. Do you like do you like spirit, Rick? How was story time? A lot of people like to take pot shots at sequels, but I think every good story deserves a follow up. When you think it's the end, the sequel is almost never as rewarding as the original. That's why I'm much more fan of episodic style of storytelling. Knowing it's a series takes a lot of pressure off any individual installment. And builds a greater sense of community between audience and creator. You think she likes me back? Maybe if you play this game and romance her. Tell me, Scrumbly, if you could delete any sequel from existence, what would it be? Don't answer that. We don't actually care. We're just here to make sure that we seamlessly move on to the next segment of the evening. God forbid my small talk and in the way of a romantic twilight moment. Dwight, I'm going to need you to shut your yap trap. You know that we need to get back to that thing we do whenever we're not on screen. <laughs> okay, okay, you have fun tonight and try not to wink wink end up dead. Why did you say the word wink wink out loud and what kind of double entendre are you getting out with the end up dead thing? 
Dwight is physically incapable of winking. Not since the accident. And you do know that all of these people are despicable criminals with double digit kept crowns, right? Well, except for Spirit. She really doesn't belong here. She's strictly a victim, not a perpetrator. No wonder she's pissed. Did I hear somebody trash talking Spirit? D deal me in. What do you say we take this talk to the hot tub so I can soak this bod while I roast that ghost with some killer hot takes? <laughs> Please, enough talk of burns, things that are lit or getting blazed. It's enough that these activities have to be set next to a lit or a fire. Must I be surrounded by figurative flames at well? Poor Ray. Poor guy. What if we turned and ran as far away from this place as we could? Just you and me. On those stupid spindly legs, you'd probably tire before you got too far. If it's running away to someplace more secluded, Scrumbly is after, they should obviously join me. Have you seen these legs? I have. Pure power. Not that my walk speed really reflects my giant stature, but that's because I choose to move slowly for stealthy reasons. It's my own choice and it's completely logical. Why is everyone so obsessed with comparing themselves to each other and creating drama? I'm so over all that. Don't you get it? Society wants to trick you into fighting each other so that corporations can swoop in and sell you fake solutions to all your fabricated problems. I love her so much. I'll be sitting in the shade and drinking something locally sourced while thumbing through a public domain novella printed on recycled paper because I refuse to play their games anymore. <laughs> oh, she's so good. It's like she's actively trying to be as unappealing as possible. Does it really turn anyone else off? Or does <laughs> just me? Good lord, Trapper. Despite Trapper's insatiable appetite, it seems his attention along with the attention of everyone else, is still on you for the moment. If you could, I don't know, just pick one of us so we could all move on with our lives or, um, you know, some special projects we might have going. You heard him. Who will it be? Who will you head off with for an evening activity? I'm just saying, you may not get a ton of chances to date around like this before your time on Murderer's Island comes to a close. And no, I'm not satisfied with that name here, but with the streaming reality TV dating show boom happening, it's pretty much all that wasn't taken. <laughs> Which killer would you pick? And yes, we're back to excluding Trickster, because ugh, that guy. <laughs> oh, I mean... Huntress, yeah, but they did make a good point. About, like, getting, getting to date around. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Huntress, I'm sorry. You know, I had the feeling you'd pick me. You've got good taste, and I don't say that just because I'm considering eating you. Huntress licks her lips as she eyes you up and down. You've never felt like a literal piece of meat this much in your life before. What have you gotten yourself into? Let's go over to the bar. I'm going to make you into something special. Am I about to get murdered? When you and Huntress whisk yourself away to the bar, when you arrive, you find an arrangement of arts and crafts supplies. And are those taxidermy cool tools? How do you recognize taxidermy? Would any of you see taxidermy tools and think, ah, yes, th that's what those are. I recognize those. If your answer to that question is yes, I'm afraid of you. Are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. You wonder what's going through Huntress's head. Though she's bubbly and enthusiastic, you were always terrified she might snap. Something on your mind? She smiles. Drink this. Oh, it's the thing from the main menu. Huntress hands you a seemingly normal tropical cocktail. If one were to drug you into some sort of state in which you could be operated on, these flavors would certainly hide the poison. You look around and consider what else there is to live for besides becoming Huntress's little toy, and the conclusion is bobs away. You pound the drink. It's quite nice. I've been thinking about making you a present, a mask. Would you be into that? Yes, of course. I've always admired yours. What would you like? Ooh. Fluffy cat mask, absolutely. Like marshmallow level fluff, you can barely make out any features. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah! 
Um, okay, I guess I pass. Listen. <laughs> oh god. Well, I know what I'm going to be working on tonight, all alone in my skimpy pajamas. Huntress winks at you. Okay. Should we just, like, get out of here? Yeah. These drinks are making me pretty sleepy. Should we just, like, get out of here? Maybe go get directly into your bed? No, that's not how tonight goes. I mean, it's not how it's supposed to go. Not yet, at least. Ha ha, you kooky kid. Ha <laughs> ha, you kooky kids. Soon. Huntress, you've got lots of hobbies. Why don't you share something with this that you're passionate about? Something less deadly than throwing axes or chasing survivors. Maybe. Just a thought. Making more masks? Or wait, making matching gloves? No, you little joker. I'm thinking of a different type of making. Making our victims die fast, medium, or slow deaths, depending on the mood we're in. It's another round of Be Careful What You Wish For on Murderer's Island. Dwight, I need your help, um, doing something in a different place entirely? You read my mind. Meet you there. I'm talking about mycology, you know, mushrooms. I've picked a lot of them, and I'm very familiar with which ones make for a great soup base and which ones make you super dead. God, I love her so much. <laughs> I'll show you two mushrooms. You point at the one that's safe to eat. Saving. Sounds easy enough. Totally this one. Correct! It's called a black trumpet. And boop ba doo It's delish. Next up, this one is very easy. I'm sure you'll nail it. Point at the one that won't result in almost instant death if you eat it. Rut row. You would have just eaten a deadly dapperling, which has a name that is both adorable and, well, deadly. Adorable and deadly. You know anyone like that? Yes. Final question. Which will make you jump for joy, and which will make you vomit until you die? What is the question here? She asked me two questions, and I can only make one choice. I guess I'm just supposed to... Hmm. I mean, this just looks like almost like a champignon mushroom. Correct, that's a green cracking Rasula. She's, she's info dumping about mushrooms to me. I can't handle this. Sure, it might look moldy, but I guess you shouldn't judge a mushroom by its gross green cap. Not everything is exactly as it appears at first glance. That was fun, right? I like flexing a little more than just my biceps for you. Alright, let's see here. Tabulating your answers, and not great. Not all wrong, but it only takes one poisonous mushroom to put you down for good. Guess you'll just need to keep me around so you don't shove anything deadly in your mouth. Huntress claps her hands giddily. I appreciate you spending time with me tonight. I know the other killers are all very alluring in their own way. It means a lot that you spend time with a forest bumpkin such as myself. Hmm. You're no bumpkin. You're a strong, independent woman. Don't demean yourself. Huntress Luna. <laughs> I'll demean myself if I want to. She's angry, but also turned on. This is pretty hot. We're here. Claudette and Dwight are gathering everyone on, together on the beach. Exactly what the voice said. I'm telling you, and I'm being honest, that you're the only one who can hear me. That's not true. You're lying. Ah, the gang's all... The gang's all together again on the volleyball court. Seems like only yesterday you were sitting on the sidelines watching everyone get sweaty. That's because that was yesterday. That's because it was was oi feels like i've been here a lot longer than that actually it's so late that the sun is already beginning to rise better get this over with quickly so that i i mean you can get some beauty rest i do not recommend the eternal damnation of perpetual narratordom 
Good thing that you've really used your time well since then. Really getting to know the gang. The brain, the mogul, the basket case, the psychotic bunny girl. Mm. You know, the four types of people. Anyway, everyone has gathered on the volleyball court for a new type of game. Pitch your dream date and see who Scrumbly chooses. Okay. I feel like... I feel like I want to save here, and we're gonna we're gonna wrap things up. Um, it's been it's been a good four hours though. Um, but yeah, uh, I am so happy to be streaming again. I I mean y'all know I love it, you know. I mean I do. Uh, I've had a I had a great stream today. I. I'm just happy to be back. Um, and I don't know. I just, I had a nice time. Um, I hope you all had a nice time as well. This game is fun. Um, I guess I'll be playing more of it. Uh, I also want to do Sly Cooper as well. Um, so... Well, let's see. There's a few things I want to do. I want to try... Okay, okay. I want to try modded Elden Ring. I would like to finish at least one playthrough of this Hooked on You game. Um, so, those two, modded Elden Ring. Um, I've got the other Sly Cooper games um, in mind. Uh, what else? There was something else. What was the... Sly Cooper, Hooked on You... Modded Elden Ring. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've been thinking, uh, because I do want to do more, like, RPG-related content on, um, on this, on my channel. I've been wanting to do that for a while, but I wasn't really sure what to do. Um, I've been thinking I could do, like, monthly one-shots. So, like, once a month, uh, we do an, I do an RPG stream. Uh, probably with people from the community or maybe a preset group. I'm not sure. Um, and uh, I just run like a little Pathfinder or some other game one shot. Uh, I don't know if I'll start that this month, but uh, we'll see. That's something else that I want to do. And I think, I think I will. I think I will try to at least start that. We'll see if it works out. Um, just because scheduling sucks, but hopefully, like, once a month, not that bad. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've been thinking about doing, uh, as far as the rest of the, you know, future streams go. Uh, you're gonna be seeing that. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's find someone to raid here. Let's see, how many chat... None. Cool. Um, that's good. Because that means that it's not broken like my other things. Oh, Freya! Hello, Melski. Hello, Freya. Hello, both of you. I am just ending, but it's good to see you both. And welcome back, Freya. Uh, we're gonna look for somebody to raid. Um, I'm assuming, Freya, you are not streaming at the moment. Though, you've been in chat. You've been in my chat while streaming. What is Kraken playing? Blood Hunt. No. No, I missed the... I'm sorry. Uh, Melski, what time is it for you? Ain't it pretty late? Uh, soon? Okay, we're gonna raid... Uh, we're gonna raid Meichu. Um, he's playing Guilty Gear right now. Um, you're setting up? Do you have a time estimate? Um, hella. Okay, we'll go with that. We'll we'll go with Meichu. Uh, he's playing Guilty Gear, which looks like a neat little game. Um, that's a big sword on that guy. That's awesome. I love big swords. No time estimate. Okay, we're just gonna go with Meichu then. Uh, friend of the channel. We all know him and love him. Uh, fellow uh, English VTuber. Uh... <sighs> and yeah, 
Um, let's go say hello. Let's go say hello. Uh, oh yeah, the raid messages. They're a little funky. Uh, make him play more Bridget. I'm not gonna make him do whatever. Machu can do whatever he wants. Um, but once again, y'all, thank you all so much. I, I had a fantastic time coming back to stream. And, um, it was really nice. Uh, I'm sorry that you missed most, or some, a little bit of the stream, Freya. Uh, but, uh, I don't know, I just, I, I, I have a very good community, and I'm happy to have the one that I have. Uh, and yeah, I will see you all on Thursday. Uh, I'm gonna be playing whatever the hell I want to. And, uh, oh, Melski! Thank you so much for the, thank you so much for the tier one. Thank you all. Yeah, there you go. There's the raid message. You can copy that if uh, you're subbed. If you're not subbed, then you've got the one with the basic heart emote. Um, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, and yeah, I will see you all again on, uh, on Thursday. <laughs> um, and yeah. Au revoir, mon ami.